like I'm I feel like I'm losing my mind. Wow, great timing, Red. You bring your little man back just as I'm about to swap screens. Amazing. Good job, bestie. Good job. Oh wait, wrong page. There we go. Hello, friends! Oh my god, I'm so sorry I took 10 minutes to get back here. I had to shit really badly. <laughs> I sat down, hit the going live button, and went, Oh no. And you know like those poops where it like winds up? That's what it was. It was a wind up poop. I didn't like any part of it. It do be like that sometimes, it do. Hello friends, how's everybody doing? Hello Char, hi Kelsey, hi Perfect, Saren! Sarah Love too. Thank you for the four month resub, I appreciate it. Welcome back to the Covenant of your Regiments and your stay. Hello Blinky, what's up? Hi Kai, yeah, sometimes you just gotta shit. Uh, you know what else is, you know what else is going love? Oh, it's going live. Hope you had a happy shit. A full-blown shotgun poop that leaves you satisfied by the end. You know what? I did have a shotgun shit. Thank you. I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know if I would call it a shotgun shit, but I, th I think that's what we're going to go with. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the 17-month resub, dentist. Thank you. Hello. Is it Trinka Squad? Hello. Your body gave you a brief warning that this was now happening? Literally. It was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Wind up shit, what a great way to start stream. I know. You've heard of wind up wind up or chiffon. You've heard of wind up gratia. Now get ready for wind up pepper shit. Oh, hello pars. Man, can you believe it? Tomorrow we're starting Endwalker. I I haven't like processed that I finally made it. You know? I remember a year and a half ago in 2021. Two weeks before Endwalker launched, I installed this game, and I went live with it for the first time. And I told y'all that I would catch up to the MSQ in two weeks. I told y'all that in two weeks I'll be in Endwalker. It's taken me almost two years. <laughs> Can't wait for the nervous shit you're gonna feel for Endwalker Toro. I'm honestly scared. I'm very nervous. I know that this game is gonna fucking- It's gonna fuck me up. It's gonna eat me and then shit me out. And like normally, I'd be okay with that. I'm so mad I won't be there. It's okay. You're gonna be there in spirit. What's Endwalker? I don't know. Sarah hype, Sarah hype, Sarah hype. Happy Endwalker Eve. Sarah hugs Sarah repat. Eve! It's Endwalker Eve! Thank you for the four month Reese of Eternal. I appreciate it. You all have given me the brain rot. I installed it last night and I'm level 25 already. Actually? Fuck yeah! How's it going? Give us the tea. Tell us how it's going. What was everyone's cry counter I guess for the end of Endwalker? I tried putting in 58 and the, uh, the form didn't let me. It did not let me. So for those that don't know, wouldn't it be Eve Walker? True, it's Eve Walker tonight. Um, so for those that don't know, Tarbinlow, aka Elise, has made a little form in our Discord server for y'all to guess what the cry counter is going to be by the end of Endwalker. We are currently at 58, and I strongly believe that I will not cry at all again. I'm not going to. I refuse. I honestly think 69 is likely. Could you imagine? Could you actually imagine if that's what we like end at? Okay, by the way, y'all, I have to shit again. I'm so sorry. My my stomach, my bowels, my butthole, like I gotta poop. I'll be right back. I gotta poop.
Y'all ever go to shit, but only fart? I sat there. I sat there and I prayed. I begged. And I pleaded. <laughs> and then I farted. I went through hell and back for a fart. And I keep farting. And it smells so bad. Like, I am not having a good time. <laughs> Hello, Prometheus. Your shit is playing peekaboo. You know what? Yeah. It is playing peekaboo. And I want it to stop. I want it to come out. The porcelain god was not merciful this day. The porcelain god has betrayed me. It's supposed to comfort me in these times, but it's not. Swimming all Waldo? True. See me, how are you? Hello, John. I've had the opposite. I go to fart only to shit myself. Oh, that's worse. Do y'all do that? Do y'all go to the bathroom just to fart? I let that shit rip. If I have to fart, I tell everyone around me. I'm like, yo, I'm about to fart. And I let it out. And if they don't like it, that's on them. Maybe they should evacuate. You know? I mean, it depends on where I am, though. Like, am I going to fart in a restaurant? No. Am I going to fart at, like, a museum? No. But if it's at my own place, I'll fart. I got to put, like, a warning on my door or something. Warning. Fart-free zone. Or free fart zone. Free fart zone? Let's just say I'll never be able to sell my secret lab chair if I decide to change computer chairs. Kelsey, I w never in a million years would I ever buy a chair from you. Ever since you told me that you ate a bit of dairy and shat yourself on the way home, I've never been able to trust your ass. So you know what? That's fair. Yeah, that's fair, Kelsey. <laughs> that wasn't even at home? That's the worst part. That's the worst part. You weren't even home and you shat your pants. Now imagine if you were home. I don't want to know what's been festering around there. Yeah, you probably could have made it to the toilet faster. But I don't know if I trust you and your butthole. <laughs> That's Kelsey core. Yo, you want to see how cute my phone is? So what, if I have Twitch open on my phone, this is what it looks like. Ain't that so fucking cute? Look! You just see Syrah Uwu, my little pepper, my little peeves! I'm so shy to you? What does that mean? You're so shy to me? What did I do? If I'd stopped at Tim Hortons instead of trying to power through my s through the sweats, I wouldn't have shot myself? Now we know. Oh my god, chat my stomach. All I had today was some ramen. And it's making my belly like question everything. I feel like I gotta go poop again. Sire is very cool. Yeah, that is exactly what I want to hear when I'm like thinking about shitting my pants. You're right. I am very cool. <laughs> Don't trust a fart. Nah. Trust me. If you see me get up and run, you know why. All right, chat. So my mic is all the way over here. All right, so today we're going to be doing... Oh my god. Am I overheating? I feel like I have to take this off. What tank top am I wearing? I'm wearing a black one. Oh, my tits are out though. Oh, I'm gonna have to get out of the sweater. These are not these are not uh, poop sweats, by the way. It's just really warm in my office. Um, yay, tits out. No! Um, but yeah, today we're going to be doing another roll quest. We're going to be doing the melee roll quest because I haven't leveled summoner enough. It's only at level 75 or I think level 75. So what kind of ramen? It was a spicy chicken jalapeno. So that'll do it to me. Are you hungry? No. Do I? Does it look or sound like I'm in the position to eat? I'm talking about how I'm about to shit my pants. And you're asking me if I'm hungry? Nah. Fiber can help that? That's true. I should go just chow down some bread.
I'm sorry, you're good. I'd still eat even if I'm about to shit myself. You know what, Larry? That makes you stronger than me. All right, let's get this game cooking. Okay, where the fuck am I? Where's my cam? Where's my cam? There I am. Okie dokie. Okily dokily dokily. I'm usually hungry after a good poop. You're hungry after pooping? I feel like for me, after I shit, I need to like lay down. Not sit down because sometimes my butt's like a little bit tender, but I absolutely need to like relax. A good poop is a full body workout. It is. It is. I feel like none of my poops are ever, ever great. All my poops are either disappointing or just miserable. I feel like I have to go poop. I feel like I have to go sit on the toilet again. I feel like I shouldn't be trusting, I shouldn't be trusting my gut. Or I should trust my gut, I guess, and go. But we'll see, we'll see. Let's, let's get to, let's get to the first and I'll see how I feel. Don't end up like Kelsey. <laughs> Don't be like Kelsey, go to the bathroom. I'm getting that on a shirt. Trust your gut, poop your butt. Poop your butt? Poop my butt? I don't wanna poop my butt. Oh, is it raining here? Oh, it's storming. Fuck yeah. Okay, is my background music not on? It's not. Uh, there. Uh, chat, is the audio a little bit quiet for y'all? I don't remember, like, what audio settings I keep my game at. I don't know if I keep it at 40, if I keep it at 35. Okay, so we ha I think it's this quest, right? Is it pour one out? No greater sport? Is it no greater sport? Let's see, we're gonna play it as Reaper. Is it no greater sport? It is! Alright, let's go. I got rid of my my all white reaper glam. It was right here. I don't know. I don't know what to what to create. Dentist. Thank you for the ten gifts and subs. So everything I get is welcome to kind of drip your butt and On that note, I'm gonna go poop. Y'all, look. I did not have the shits until I went live. I was fine. I was okay. I was chilling. My body was was in a good place i was happy everything was marinating the word that the way that it should be but now no i'm in shit hell i will i'm so fucking sorry i'm so sorry i have to go
Okay. I never want to eat ever again. <laughs> Chat, when I tell you, when I tell you, the shit that came out of me, when I tell you, I thought, I thought I was going to get mashed potatoes, chocolate rain. I just want y'all to know that I don't know how my body produced what came out. I didn't think it was possible. And I still feel like there's more. I still feel like there's more poop in me to come out. I, I feel like I'm not done shitting. I had to do the walk of shame to my closet to get more wet wipes. I am going on a ramen cleanse. I am not having any more. Going to be having twins? Yeah, we having twins tonight. We heard it? No shot. You heard, you heard me shit? Chat, you heard me shit? Gangsters, what's up, guys? Um, guy just aged a whole year waiting for you to come back, Sarah. JK, my birthday is literally in 45 minutes. Hey, happy early birthday. Oh my god, we heard you open and close the closet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, wait, I didn't mute my mic. I'm so okay. So normally, when I when I poop, sometimes I have to I have to groan and and grumble. So I'm really glad <laughs> that I did it today, <laughs> cause y'all would have heard that shit. Literally. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I'm going on a ramen cleanse. I am not having any more ramen for the next, like, few weeks. Yeah, the shirt came off. Not because, like, I was overheating, but I just... In case I start overheating, you know? Did you poop with the door open? Yes, I live alone with my dog. If the smell is too much for him, he'll get up and leave. Hello, Todd. Hello. We're here, though. You're right. I'm so sorry. I'm so disrespectful to my guests. Don't worry. Next time, I'll be sure to uh, to close the door. When the shirt comes off of the poop, that deserves an odd oh, dang. An oh, dang? Look, sometimes it's not just the shirt. Sometimes it's like the pants, the underwear, the shirt. I mean, normally you take off your pants when you go to poop. But like, you got to get butt ass naked. I have this little... I have this little trash can beside my, my toilet and what I do is I like put it in front of me and I prop my legs up while I'm naked and I just like hold onto my face and start yelling. Prop the leg on the side of the bathroom for leverage! Oh man. People when they have to ship it are wearing a romper. There is nothing worse than when you have to poop and you're wearing like a dress and like like tights and like the little like booty shorts and everything it's not a good time need some hydration i do i have a mango smoothie and i have some agua here but i think i need to refill also lax what's up uh what did i just come into you came into me crying about my poop I'm so sorry. You missed it. I had a big fucking shit just now. Do you want the details? Quit saying Agua. <laughs> it's my Agua. All right. Let's see what Lou Reek has to say to me. No greater sport. Lou Reek thinks you just might be the answer to his prayers. All righty. Let's get this going. Wait. You wouldn't happen to be... Who do you expect me to be? Hi! Oh my god, could you imagine if I was wearing the cockpit? Yes, of course you are! Just plain from the way you carry yourself. You're just the sort of woman I've been looking for. You're perfect! God! When? At God, when? The fucking Riz! My name is Lurique, and I am a bounty hunter. But not just any bounty hunter, I'll have you know. Nay, 
I am not wont to settle for run-of-the-mill prey. I hunt sin eaters. Not only that, I have recently set my sights on a particularly notable fiend, one of the four cardinal virtues, those infamous instigators of the flood itself. Naturally, it will take considerable strength and skills to defeat such a formidable eater, and I'm not afraid to admit I cannot do it alone. However, with the aid of equally formidable allies, I'm confident it can be done. And you, my friend, are exactly the sort of ally I have, n I have a mind to recruit. Walk away without a word, feign interest, walk away without a word. Oh, well, wait! I have money! Lots and lots of money! You'll be well rewarded for your service, on my honor! Money? Where's Pepper's bow? This cutscene needs to end, I need to give her her bow. However, as much as I am certain you're the right woman for the job, it is only me that I put your skills to the proof. A simple test should suffice. Pray do not be offended, but you'd be shocked at how many people present themselves falsely in order to enrich themselves or to impress others. She needs her bow! I love how with the last roll quest that we did and this one, Pepper's just been like, what the fuck, man? Did I miss any tears? No, no, no. We are still at 58. I'm telling y'all. I'm not gonna cry again. Okay. So we have to rendezvous with Lou Reek in Lakeland. Okay. Let's go to foot job. Her bow is on next to Twitch name. True. So to anyone who has been a sub for two years or more, you now get a little, a little bow besides your username. It's very cute. Get a little red bow. I still... Oh, I want to use the puppy. I want to use the puppy. Um, I'm still in the process of uh, figuring out what I want for... Like, what badges and stuff I want for my little, like, not even rebrand, but, you know. Yeah, my rebrand. We've had these uh, witch hat badges for, I think, like, four years. And I was thinking, like, maybe what we could do is, like, maybe keep the witch hats, but, like, make the bows red? Um, or something like that. I don't know. Or we can make it, like, little cats? Little cat badges? I don't know. Chat, what do you think? Where are the cat ears? The cat ears will return tomorrow when we begin the MSQ. I'm very excited. Uh, you know what I miss? I miss wearing the white wig. I really miss the Shadowbringers white uh, white hair era. The white hair, if you will. Or little toilets, little poops. Little poopies. Use colors for tears? Nah, 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 nah. It's got like the, it's gotta either be like purple or red or both. The cum hair. Yes, the Limsa Laminsa Shadowbringers cum hair. Brand refresh? Yes. Brand refresh. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Ooh, you know what it could be? It could be a little black cat. Maybe, maybe like a black cat that gets a bow later. I don't know. A black hat that gets a hat and then a bow and then a bow and a hat? I don't know. Black hat that hatches out of an egg? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sad I never got a heart, but I'll take a pep bow. Get what you get. You get what you get, Pars. The heart badge is very cute too, though. But, yeah. Changing it up. Here we are, our proving grounds. You need only slay a beast of suitable ferocity, ferocity before my very eyes to demonstrate your own. Naturally, we require bait to lure out, to lure one out of hiding. Are you the bait? Oi, my lord, got your package here. Well done, my good man, and here's your payment. Oh, this? The bait in question. Easier to have delivered than to take a detour and pick it up myself. Rather more efficient as well. Time is money. Now then, you'd only place it in the open and slay whatever comes to claim it. I cannot imagine it will take long for something to come to for something to come hither. 
All right. I fucking love this fit so much. It was really cute in, in purple, but I love it in red. Oh, look at my baby. Look at our little sneakers. Okay, let's see. So where am I putting it? Am I putting it? Oh, destination. Where's the destination? Oh, there it is. Everything like blends together. Iguana meat. All right, let's see. Coming out. Oh. Mm, nothing is coming out. Oh. All right, let's wait here. So you're just gonna stand there and watch? You're so close to the action? Yo, what's up? What's up, bro? Oh, I forgot how to play this class. I only play Reaper in... in PvP now. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I forgot what I'm doing. Alrighty. Okay, that was easy. That's all you wanted to see? You wanted to see me fuck up a tiger? Fantastic! I knew I was not wrong about you. Come, let's return to the Crystarium at once. That's it? And now we're just going back to the Crystarium? Meh. Larry's debating getting talk about because he have this shit's thoughts? I think that's a good idea. I think that's a really good idea. I think everybody in solitude, in solidarity, should get Taco Bell. I haven't had Taco Bell in a very, 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 very long time. And the one, actually, I think I've only had Taco Bell once. And the one time I had it, I shot my brains out. But like, I also have IBS. All hot girls have tummy problems. Hot girls have tummy problems and back pain. It just is what it is. It's part of the package. My solidarity is the ramen shits I had earlier today. Oh my god, you also had ramen shits? What is in the ramen today? Congratulations on a kill well made, my good woman. I dare say this is the beginning of a beautiful partnership. Oh my god. Let's commemorate the occasion with a feast. Eat, drink, and be merry. Bro, all I did was fuck up a beast. All this for that? I mean... Hey, yo, I'm not gonna deny ASMR. Another helping? No, are you sure? It really is no bother. Oh well. He's enjoying the num-nums. I'd like to return to our earlier discussion. That of the virtue I have engaged you to hunt with me. Yes, tell me. Oh hey, it's Sybil! Andrea is her name, and she roams Norvrant in the guise of Renda, in, of Renda Ray, a fallen warrior of light and renowned hunter of Eld. She's a most... She is a most elusive eater who has been sighted in every corner of the realm. Though her movements are unpredictable, she has often been witnessed pursuing and slaying extraordinary dangerous beasts, extraordinarily dangerous beasts. I can well imagine the question forming in her head. Why not leave her be? If anything, is she not aiding local communities after a fashion? Alas, no. For the beasts she slays rise anew as eaters, which pose even greater threats to the small folk. So all the beasts that she's killing turn into sin eaters. So you see, this one wretched sin eater is in truth sow sowing untold chaos by carrying on as she does, unleashing more of her kind on unsuspecting towns and villages all across Norvrant. Only you and I can stop her. I see. So she's just like another sin eater. Because like when a sin eater kills another creature or human, they turn into a sin eater too, right? So she was a warrior of light? Didn't the warriors of light save the world? No, we're gonna go to the top one. Huh. What an odd thing to ask. But never mind all that. Whether or not they were heroes or villains or whatever a hundred years ago doesn't matter to me. The simple truth is, Renda Ray was the greatest hunter who ever lived, and beating her at her own game would be an amazing feat, don't you think? And regardless of what the Warriors of Light were before they became Sin Eaters, and that's what they are now, so we'd be doing- Oh wait, that's what they are now! So we'd be doing folks a favor by killing one. Well, what say you, friend? Will you hunt Andrea with me? I hope I live to regret this. With pleasure. So begins our formal partnership. Every time he calls it a partnership, I'm just like... Do you have a crush on me? Do you like me? 
Ah, I can see it now. You and me in the heat of battle, fighting side by side. The picture of courage and camaraderie. It's gonna be grand. This guy, this guy seems really young and naive somehow. I like his bow though. Naturally, it will take us time to study and understand our prey. Eaters can behave in strange and inexplic inexplicable ways, particularly powerful ones like Andrea. I've been doing my best to get inside her head, to think like a hunter, but it is easier said than done. Monkey? He do a little boop. He do a little boop. Anyway, as soon as I've determined where we ought to begin our search, I'll inform you at once. I'm not getting XP. Oh, is the reward lacking? My apologies. Next time I will see that you receive rather more than substantial compensation. Oh. Oh! Are you gonna give me a kiss? Are you gonna give me a smooch? Do I have any other DPS? No, I don't. I gotta start leveling other classes. God fucking damn it. Wow, he's increasing the gill by 200. Ooh, big spender. I'm telling you this guy's a gray-haired action star Jones. <laughs> oh my god, he is! Oh my god, he is a gray-haired action star Jones. Amazing. Yeah, another cowboy for Pepper to throw over. How long before he bites the dust? <laughs> Alright, are we taking bets? Do y'all think he's gonna fucking die? <gasps> Avalon, hello! Could you imagine if he dies during this fucking quest? <laughs> New Reek seems rather surprised to see you standing before him. Surprised? Why are you surprised? You didn't think I'd come back? All that talk? For not? Wait, it's you! It's really you! You actually came! Yeah, I hear that a lot. I mean, uh, never mind. <clears throat> You're here to hunt Andre with me, yes? Of course you are. Why else would you be here? And wouldn't you know it? One of my hirelings should be returning with new information any moment now. Your hirelings? Oh, <gasps> is she cute? Oh, <gasps> oh, she's really cute. Greetings, my lord. I am pleased to report that Andrea was recently sighted in Amarang, in the vicinity of Samuel's backbone, it would seem. Apparently, there was a right vicious spider. What was giving folks trouble? And now that it, now that it's been turned, it's about a dozen times worse. Be grateful for any assistance. We're gonna go fuck up some spiders. I like her fit. I want that outfit. I want that to be my gathering fit. I see, I see. Well done, my friend. Your payment as promised. Bro, this guy better give me a million gil by the end of this. I bet you kill him yourself. Yeah, that's also on brand. <laughs> Pepper's just murdering all her love interests. Indirectly got Orshifon killed. Killed Emmett Selk. What else? Almost killed Grahatia. I mean, he's not really a love interest. I do like to think that Pepper. Pe no, I'm not gonna. No, I mean, I wouldn't like. I mean, I guess maybe Pepper has like slipped a finger or two in there for fun. You know, when they get bored at the Crystarium. I don't know. Maybe she wanted to figure out if he was crystallized in there as well. I want to know. Maybe she found out. Maybe she got the answers for me. <laughs> why bother going out and but why bother going out and about pestering the small folk for news when you can employ others to do it for you? The better to devote our precious time to rather more important matters, I say. And owing to my winning strategy, we may now depart for Amarang and the delightfully named Samuel's Backbone. For in pursuing the spider, we may yet find its maker. Alright, rich kid. He'd be down for whatever. El Graha is a munch for sure. He that is my my baby girl. Graha Tia is my wife, and I love him. He's my cinnamon roll, and you know what? He can be a pillow, a pillow biter all he wants. I will not judge him. Wait, am I going to the right place? Yeah. Your pooping parts? I hope you get better luck than I did. My wife. You stole it as bae? You stole it as bae. Dude, she got the strap. I just know it. 
God. When she told me that she was gonna bend me over her knee and spank me. Or, well, implied that she'd spank me. Oh my God. She is so mommy, it hurts. Like, it physically pains me. I still want to commission Ishtola and Pepper art, like, really bad. I have two Orchifont, like, Pepperfont, um, comms coming in. But I, I really want to start getting, like, Pepper and Ishtola, Pepper and Frey, Pepper, Frey, Orchifont, and Ardbert. Like, there's a lot that I want to get. I just gotta fucking, I gotta make money. I gotta work. Her staff is massive. Oh my god, they stole up her big ass stuff. She pegs, dude. I just remembered I bought donuts when I left work and that has me so excited, chat. Fuck yeah. Okay, wait. Did you leave them out? Are these donuts gonna make you poop? Are they like cream filled? What kind of donuts are they? This is certainly the place. I gather those bones once belonged to dear Samuel, but I see no troublesome arachnid. It being a rather large desert, I had considered hiring a few trackers to hasten our search, but I have yet to spy a place where such individuals might congregate. Pity. Bah, nothing for it. Nothing for it but to roll up our proverbial sleeves and do the dirty work ourselves. We shall split up and search the sands for this sin eater spider. Whoever finds it first may have the honor of slaying it themselves. And should we not find it, well, after we both have searched for a suitable length of time, I say we meet back here. Let the hunt begin. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna be the one to find it. I'm gonna be the one to kill it. And you're gonna be like, oh my god, you're so strong. Whoa. Am I right? I'm right. He seems like a like a rich kid that goes to a private school. I'm gonna pay these people to do my dirty work for me. And then I'm gonna look cool and slay the big thing. But actually, I'm gonna hire you to do it too. And I'm gonna take all the credit. And that's the vibe I'm getting. I may or may not have written an entire scene of you still doming my warrior of light. And you're not gonna share? You're not gonna share with the class? Disappointed in you. Alright, we're surveying, surveying. You survey the surrounding sands, but find no trace of the spider you seek. Okay, maybe not. Okay, so we're gonna go down here now. Still searching, still searching, still search. Oh, I can fucking fly. Well, I don't think I can fly, but like, I can at least run. <gasps> what is that? It's red! Wait, I wanna go fuck it up too. What the hell? Fuck it, let's go. Oh, wait, I can't get off. Don't mind the little detour. Don't mind the little detour. I was just gonna fucking use my thingy. I was just gonna use my thing. Hello. Thank you. <gasps> I got fucking schnoodled! I got schnoodled! That's an S rank hunt target? I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Oh, maybe not? My HP! My HP! I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my... my distance. <laughs> Look, there's nothing wrong with the little detour, okay? Go back up, okay. Got stunned. The chocobo! The poor fucking chocobo! If your chocobo dies in battle, what happens? I I don't have one. I don't know. I don't, I've never fought with a chocobo. I've yet to to use one in combat, or to use one. Period. What's up? What? Huh? Oh yeah, that's not okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yeah. 
What does this do again? I haven't fucking I haven't like played this class in so in so long chat. There is so much that I don't remember. What is this ability? Oh, this thing. Oh yeah, this thing. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to learn that. I'm gonna have to figure it out. I have the I have these organized in a very particular way. So one is like forward, one is like the side, and one is rear. And I think it's like this, that, that, but I don't remember. <laughs> no! I didn't oh beautiful. Thanks. Thanks, bestie. Did I just rough? I didn't bark? Did I bark? Chat, did you hear me bark? Okay. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I got stunned! Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm not returning to foundation. Nah. I ain't no coward. Mm -mm. Oh, hello. Right, that's what that does. No, please, 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 please! No! <laughs> Why is it like anytime I die, anytime I find myself dying in like, in a raid, in a trial or whatever, I end up dying a thousand times after. Like, it's like just boom, boom, the infamous boom. Smilic tender gaze at its 999,000 needles and feel despair. I got, I got 24 sacks of nuts. I got 24 Girl, kick that cactus sacks love. of nuts. Emma Birage. Fuck yeah. Give me that nut. Dentist, thank you for the five gifted subs. I fucking appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Emmy, thank you for the five month reset and size for the 11 month reset. I appreciate it. I keep only catching things because of Ramadan, but you help wake me up to eat with your screams. You're so welcome. I'm so glad I could be of service to you. <laughs> okay. Let's see, so where's my thing? Where's my thing? Oh, it's over there. See, that wasn't that big of a detour, chat. It was right there. It was right there. Okay, let's go do this. All right, is the spider gonna spawn? Am I gonna get my spoda? Yes. Oh, wait, let's spawn. Come on. I, okay, I need to swap that because like by default, I wanna use these instead of these and this is my these are my solo abilities and these are my aoe ones and for dark knight i have them like the aoe here but for some reason i think i have every i have it the other way for everything else mm. it feels like more natural to do this not that big of a deal. I'll I'll tweak my hotbar at some other point. I was literally talking to Red about it today. I was like, I need to like redo my my Reaper hotbar. Now that I'm playing, I'm like, I can like feel it. Was Tyra awakened me? Apparently, I like woman who bark. Boof! Bark 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 bark. Ow! Is that what you like? Did you do Omega? Not yet. No. Not yet, vibes. Hello, Adrian. Ow! What the fuck is going on here? What is this? They're trying to break down this damn tower? Nah, I don't want to be a part of this. Mm -mm. 
We're going front page with that? With my barking? With my barking? Waldo's gonna start howling back now. Waldo is done with my shenanigans. He don't give a fuck. He is not amused by me and my barking and my tomfoolery. <laughs> Red's excitement is cute. He's such a simp. But that's what we love, right? Oh my god. Evil Sybil is so hot. Evibble. Ibble. Oh, the migraine's coming in. Not the flashbang. Oh! Big kitty! Damn! It's like a catzilla! There she is. The scrounge of Norfrant, the devourer of souls. Balam quits. We bring this mark down, they'll be singing ballads about us till the end of time. Never mind the king's bounty. Else, we could eat, we could buy ourselves a couple of castles apiece. Flanking maneuver as discussed. Wait for my signal, then we'll strike us one. Damn it, she's on to us. Don't panic, we plan for this. We'll act as decoys while Renda Ray brings her down. Go, go! Wait, not yet! There's no need to rush this! Oh no. Oh, this ain't gonna end well. Sod it. Oh, we so headstrong. Hello oh. came to say hi. Bugger me, my head. I can't. Fucking Sonic boomed her. They dropped like fucking flies. Dude, I want to fight that beast. Can I? Wait, did it take one of the bodies? No. No. Come back here. Finish it, you bloody bastard. Finish me. Oh. Oh. Is Ardbert gonna find her? Oh. Oh, and she just buries them. Just right there. I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. I'll not let it end like this. I promise. I'll kill that goddamn beast if it's the last thing I do. We're well on our way to a healthy sub baby. Dante, thank you for the four months. And Ashley, thank you for the five months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at my pepposy. Look at her. She's so fucking cute. Hey, hey. What was that just now? I've had headaches before, but the way you were thrashing about wasn't like anything I've ever felt. <laughs> By the gods! And I thought we were lucky just to catch a glimpse of Andrea. But you're also telling me you were granted a vision of her past with this power of yours? Yes, attuned to the papussy. Attuned to me. Good chat. You've been so good to me, chat. Man, that sounds like Cousin It. Oh my god! It's not Animalese, it's Cousin It! Oh, really? No, we shouldn't. Oh my fucking god! You're so right. Nah, you're so right. <laughs> so, hmm. Two warriors killed while hunting. Now I can't stop thinking about a fucking Adam's Family. The Adam's Family is my comfort movie. It is a movie that has shaped me. If, like, I, I, can you believe this? Some of my best friends, actually, all three of my best friends have never seen The Addams Family. I had to introduce it to them. I had to make them come over and sit down and watch it with me. Like, hello? That, like, I don't have, I don't even have, I don't even have the words 
I don't even have the words described to y'all, like... When I was a kid, I used to watch The Munsters and The Old Adams Family with my mom. And so, like... It's always been ingrained in my brain. There is just something about those movies that make me feel seen, make me feel safe, make me feel home and comfy. Yeah, the monsters are fucking great. They're fucking great. Um, and, uh, yeah. I don't know. I've all, like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like, even just thinking about the Adams Family just makes me feel all warm and tingly. Now I want to, now I want to watch it. The Adam, the Morticia you did? I know, my Morticia looked great. Too bad it was with my ex. I don't want to delete the photos off of my Instagram because, like, I- we slayed. Like, not gonna lie. We kind of killed it. I looked like Uncle Fester when I was a baby. Pretty badass. Yo, me too. Oh, where's my Morticia? Wait. Nah, don't boo my ex. Leave him out of this. But look at me, though. Like, look at me, though. Like, hello? Amazing. Amazing. I think, like, that's where my love for... Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, my mom is to blame for why I like, you know... Like, Victorian, Rococo, and, like, horror. Um, like, those aesthetics. My mom introduced me to horror when I was growing up, too. Um, like, John Carpenter. Fucking, what's that book? Uh, the one with the kid who was born with the devil inside him. Oh, man, I don't remember the name of it. omen the omen yes the omen that's it yeah that she introduced me to so much growing up um so much spooky stuff growing up and it's funny because like you know we have this like ongoing joke with my friends if you if you approach my mom about like the nerdy things that she likes she'll be like no no like i don't like that stuff i don't like that stuff no she's very shy and she's very coy but the second you say something the second you say anything that like can in like if the moment you engage in a conversation with her like actually about like star wars halloween anything she'll be like oh and then she she starts like spitballing she just goes right uh it happened with uh with my bestie claire she was trying to talk to my mom about star trek and my mom was doing the whole nah that bullshit and then she gave her an opinion about something about star trek i don't remember what and then my mom was like, actually, I disagree. <laughs> and what off? When I went to Comic-Con with her and Vlad, my mom kept going, can we go see the Star Wars stuff? Can we go see the Star Wars stuff? Can we go see the Star Wars stuff? And she was too shy to go and take photos, like, on the little, like, I don't know, like, sand dune, like, bike thing. Like, she did not, like, she was very nervous. But then she was telling me, she's like, I want to go to Disney now and go go to the Star Wars Galaxy like world thing. And I was like, I got you, Mom. I'll take you. She's so cute, but she's, sh she's so shy. Can I take her? Bet. Bet. Yeah, my mom. My mom is the fucking cutest. <laughs> yeah, she's great. And she's really great. She just, she just likes to pretend, you know? She's like, oh, I'm too cool for that. I'm too cool for that. Actually, I'm not. I'm a dork. <laughs> my friend's mom is like that. She just started playing Final Fantasy XIV. I wish my mom was a gamer. That'd be great. But no, my mom just in enjoys, uh, like, nerd culture, pop culture, like, that kind of thing. Actually, you have to say tea before Earl Grey hot because it puts the computer into beverage mode. Otherwise, you might get warm tea leaves. What? My mother inst- wait, really? So you can't say 
Earl Grey tea? You have to say tea Earl Grey hot? Tea Earl Grey hot. Like in a machine? My mother instilled in me my love for fa for history and fantasy. I'd love for my mom to meet your mom just to see what happens. Could you imagine? Just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Her mom is like, I'm sorry I keep asking your friends to do duties with me. And we're like, OMG, no, we fight each other to play with you. That's so cute. Oh, was that a Star Trek reference? Girl, I'm not the Trekkie. I don't know anything about Star Trek. I cannot get into it. I think, chat, I think I've told y'all. I think I've told y'all the story. But I, I'm not, I, I wouldn't say that I'm a Star Wars fan. And I will explain why. I, so growing up, growing up, I, you know, I got into Lord of the Rings. I, I really liked that, ver that style of high fantasy. But when it came to sci-fi, I was a little bit more hesitant. Not necessarily my cup of tea. My family always loved to watch Star Wars. My fam I have a bunch of ner like nerds in my family, right? And my only memory of Star Wars was Jar Jar Binks and pod racing. I didn't remember anything else. And so for the longest time, that was all I knew about, <laughs> about Star Wars. That there was a character named Jar Jar Binks that I loved and pod racing that was really cool. And so then, you know, as the years went on, like, my mom kept begging me, like, oh, let's watch Star Wars, oh, let's watch Star Wars, oh, Star Wars, Star Wars is on TV, and I'd be like, yeah, 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 whatever, mom. She has, like, the, like, the, the silver collector's edition box set on VHS, like, she's, and finally, uh, the year that The Force Awakens was coming out, I swallowed my pride. And I told her, uh, or I didn't tell her anything. I, uh, I bought my mom her early birthday gift. So her birthday is on the 28th and The Force Awakens came out like a week or so before, right? And so I told her that she's getting like an early birthday and Christmas gift. And what we did was, I, so I got her a, a Star Wars t-shirt, a Star Wars blanket, I got her, and I got her the, like, just the, the Blu-ray collector's edition for Star Wars. Or collector's edition, I don't know. But blue Star Wars on Blu-ray, right? And so, and so I, I bought us tickets to go see The Force Awakens. And I aligned it perfectly. And so every night before we went to see The Force Awakens, we watched the Star Wars movies. So we watched three, no, we watched four one night and then five and then six and then one and then two and then three and then the force awakens and so now every year that's like kind of like what we do for the holidays we watch like star wars and now every year as well like for my mom's birthday they've been pumping out star wars films i think the solo like the han solo movie was the only one or like Star Wars, a Han Solo story or whatever the fuck it was called, was the only one that came out in like May. Like it wasn't around her birthday. Um, but yeah, it's just tradition now. For her birthday, we watch a Star Wars movie. Yeah. And so I still, and like I cosplayed um, Rey, but like I did like a Sith version of her for my mom because my mom thought it was cool. Um, and that's actually kind of how my OC Rayanera came to be too. I wanted to I wanted to name her something that had a Ra at the end because my name is Syrah. So I just wanted like Ra, right? And then I was thinking, well, my mom's favorite character is Ray. So what if I combined Ray and Ra? And I'm like, Ray Ra? No, that sucks. And I just kept like jumbling letters together until I got a name that I liked. And then Rayanera was born. And I added the accent uh, just to make it more like elfy kind of. Yeah, so... Shout out to my mom. <laughs> I love that for you and your mom. Tinks. Yeah. Yeah. I want to watch Star Wars with your mom. Everyone does. Everyone wants to watch Star Wars and Star Trek with my mom. You got to get in line. That's really cool lore for my favorite OC. Yeah, now you know. Rayanera's name came from... Came from my mom, basically. 
My gay ass imagined Rara from the Nana anime? I don't know what that is. I've got no idea what that what that is. Sire mom Star Wars stream? Could you imagine? Could you imagine I get my mom like on in Discord with us and we all just watch Star Wars together? Could you imagine? Has your mom ever watched The Expanse? Probably. I thought it was a play on the Spanish word uh, Reina. Nope, I don't know what that is. Nope, Rayanera is literally just a combination of Ray from Star Wars and my name and just jumbled letters. Apparently I did, um, I, I looked at the, the elven lexicon and Rayanera means happy dream, I believe, or like wet dream. So that's fitting for a solo villain, uh, type character. But yeah, I'll hang out with your mom more than you. Low key, I'm cool with this. Yeah, wet dream is pretty accurate. Yeah, I have to wake up in four hours, so I have to go. Good night, bye, dentist. Oh, Reina means queen. Wait, I feel like I knew that actually. I should have known that. My mom hates that I'm into nerdy stuff. It makes me happy you get to share nerd culture with yours. Oh, your mom hates that. That always makes me sad. It always makes me really sad when I hear that, um, like, people's family, like, look down on them for the stuff they enjoy. The harmless stuff that they enjoy. You know? I mean, I look down on my family for watching Marvel movies 24-7. I cannot do it. I don't like Marvel movies. I don't think I'm in that, like, demographic anymore. I wish I enjoyed them. I really do. But I feel like anytime a Marvel movie comes on, I'm like, you know, I did enjoy WandaVision and I enjoyed the first Ant-Man and I love Black Panther, both of Black Panther movies. And like, that's it. I don't remember it. Loki was okay. I watched it because my friend loves Loki. I don't know. Yeah, I've never been into super superhero films either. I used to I used to think that I preferred DC movies because the ones that I did see that I don't even fucking remember were like more enjoyable and I think it's because they're more like gritty, you know? But mm. Deadpool is Oh, I'm a fucking liar. I'm a fucking liar. Chat. I was obsessed with X-Men. What am I fucking talking about? I have no memory of X-Men, however. But when I was younger, I used to watch X-Men 24-7. The, the fucking, the Hugh Jackman movies. Oh my god, fucking, what is it? X-Men Origins, X2, fucking, all that bullshit. I was obsessed. I was obsessed. It was so fucking bad, bro. I, like, I remember I went to a friend's house because I got her into X-Men and I made her pause the movie and I paced around her home because I'm like, oh my god, there's a plot hole because that doesn't happen in this movie. And da -ba -da -ba -da -ba, how could that happen? Da -ba -da -ba. And I went on fucking tangents. I was down horrendous for the X-Men movies. Oh my god. Like every single one. I love them all. But I have no memory of any of them. None of them. I don't remember shit. I don't remember what happened in Logan. It's like The Last of Us. But, like, I don't know what happened. Did he die? Did Wolverine die? What happened to his brother? I, I, I don't know. I don't remember anything. I don't remember the fucking... The, the new ones either with, like... Oh, my God. What is that silver dude and Kitty Pride or whatever the fuck their names are? I don't I don't fucking remember any of it. No, only the live action. No, none of the cartoons. I was never a superhero cartoon gal. Strawberry milk? Strawberry milk? No, I don't I don't care for an actual answer. <laughs> no. My favorite superhero movie is probably Blade. 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 That's not the... I'm... In my head, I'm picturing the Matrix. <laughs> is that the vampire one? No, Blade is not the vampire one. What's... There's a vampire movie that I'm thinking of now, too. Is that Blade? 
Oh, it is? I know things. Chat, I know things. Oh my god, I know shit. Look at me. Knowing things. <laughs> I'm so fucking smart. I'm so sexy. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, no. I I I couldn't tell you shit. My memory is shot. Um God, there was another another series that I enjoyed. Underworld. Is that the one with, with mommy? Mila Yo Jovovich? Cause that shit I really like too. Mommy? God, you know. You know what? Oh, that's Resident Evil? Fuck. No, what's Underworld? But Underworld is like the same thing though, right? It was like another vampire thing, right? I remember that. Oh, it's Kate! Okay. Okay, it's Kate. Okay. The images are in my head. They're just not connecting. The dots are not al like the, the, the dots are not aligning or whatever. I, uh, do you remember, like, that time in cinema where, like, there were banger, like, trilogies coming out all the time? Like, we had Percy Jackson, we had Divergent, we had the Catching Fire Tail Hair Bird Lady, Mocking Jay Lady Man. I don't, Jennifer Aniston, Jennifer, Jennifer, Laura, Jennifer Laura, Jennifer, Hunger Games, thank you, yes. Hunger Games. And then there was uh, Mortal Instruments. Yeah, it was Jennifer Lopez. It was J-Lo. And then there was um, mor the Mortal Mortal Instruments? The City Mortal Mortal something something something? I fucking... I hated... <gasps> what was that BBC movie? Or, sh or TV series? What was that BBC TV series? Where they were like those kids who were like stinky and like rebellious... And had, like, powers. No! That's not what I'm talking about! No! Not that one! Not that one! It was the... No! It's the one with the... With the... With, with Aiden Turner! No! It's the one with Aiden Turner! No! Okay, I was thinking about Misfits, but I'm thinking about a different one. It's with Aiden Turner, it's with the girl from... From Lovesick, and that white dude. What was it? One was a vampire, one was a werewolf, and one was and she was dead. She was just dead. The white guy was a werewolf, the other white guy was a vampire, and the and and, and she was a dead girl. Fuck. Oh, oh, not is it almost human or is it being human? I have to fucking look it up. I have to look it up. Being human. Yes! I think it's this! I think it might be! Uh I don't know. Being human, UK. Is it being human? Yes! It is! It is! It's being human! Ah! <laughs> oh, that was fucking good. Oh my god, Aiden Turner. The man that you are. That is not the girl from Lovesick. I got it mixed up. But the man that you are. The man that he is. This man awoken something in me. Let me tell you, chat. Not this guy. Definitely not this guy. This dude. This is my type. Th th this fucking guy. This fucking dude. Killed me. And then he fucking pops up as Killy. In the Hobbit. With that long hair. Bro. Mm-hmm. Yes, this is Killy. Ah, uh, uh, this. Ah, uh, mm. The man that he is. The man that he is. Anyway. You watch some weird shit I did, but does it not explain who I am? Hi, Tembaz. He's hot, those big brown eyes. I know, brown eyes are underrated. I don't trust anyone that doesn't like brown eyes. Like, brown eyes are genuinely my favorite. Time to grow your hair out? No, he's not bringing back that phase. I know, brown eyes are like pools of like chocolate or liquid gold. 
Time to rest. Time for me to rest my brown eyes. Good night, Jay. He was making Tariel swoon while in a prison cell? Yeah. Man got riz. All right, let's go. My eyes are basic to me anymore. They're not. No, brown eyes are fucking perfect. I love them. I love brown eyes. I think, I, I don't know. I don't care if someone has like, bl like blue eyes, I guess are okay. Actually, I don't really like blue eyes, honestly. I remember when J3 was here, every time I looked at him, I was like, because his eyes were like so blue. They were like piercing blue. And I was like, this is unhuman. Like, you're not real. Like, this should be illegal. They looked like that. And I was like, they, you look like my Sableye. White Walker eyes. Let me go carve my eyes out. Oh, I got you. Say less. I'll do it for you. <coughs> but, like, I like green eyes. I love hazel eyes, too. I don't know. Anderson Cooper has some, like, crazy blue eyes, too. Yeah. Oh, all right. I'll close my eyes when I meet you. Thanks, Elise. I'll do the same. All right. Let's get back to let's get back to this. We we derailed a ton. So, hmm. Two warriors killed while hunting a great horned beast. A beast their surviving companion vows to slay in revenge. I've heard the tale before. I know it. Oh, so now is she stuck in a loop of killing big beasts? Oh, it's coming together now. It is a common enough sort of tale, I suppose. And regardless, she's gone. Come, let's return to Crystarium and celebrate your accomplishment. Julio, thank you for the six months recent. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To be fair, blue eyes are a weird mutation. There's zero pigment. There's, they're clear when your eyes are closed and only get color when light hits them. Wait, what? Actually? Wait, who the fuck is Sarni Churros? They're on Gilgamesh. Is that Sarnix? Sarnix, are you Sarni Churros? Is Sarnix even in here? That's actually wild. I did not know that, Kelsey. So, like, when you tell me that your eyes are clear, like, if I shone, like, a pink light in, your, in front of your face, what color would your eyes be? How does it work? If I pulled your eyeballs out of your head... Like, what happens? They probably reflect that, reflect that color? Okay, I'm testing this theory out. That's really neat. I didn't know that. Meanwhile, if you, if you shine light into my eyes, they turn into honey. I got little honey eyes. That's why, like, with most of my OCs, if they have brown eyes, I always make sure that the highlights in them are, like, very gold and rich. Except for Pepper. Pepper has olive eyes. Because I like tuxedo cats. And originally, I, like, at one point, I wanted Pepper to have, like, black and white hair. I thought it would be really cute. Like, a little tuxedo cat. But now she's just all black and fuzzy. Must be a bluish green and brown sometimes or it's hazel it fluctuates you know look i'm not gonna lie chat and you can bully me for this if you want but it is i i feel like i only ever hear white people say my eyes change color some days they're blue and some days they're green it's like honey you're wearing like a green shirt or a pink shirt of course they look different that's how that works. It's the, like, it's the contrast. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Did I hurt someone's feelings? Brown eyes get their color from melanin. The same pigment that colors your skin. Blue eyes don't have any pigment in them. Blue eyes get their... So the same way water in the sky get their blue color. They scatter light so more blue light reflects back out. Interesting. I'm learning so much about eyeballs today. My eyes are blue because I'm a Capricorn! As a white person, I feel attacked. Good. Good. 
I'm writing a strongly worded tweet. Add it to my tweet long array. I'm waiting. Pull out the receipts too. Clip this, in fact. Download the entire fucking VOD. Get the transcript. No wonder I get blue light headaches so much. My eyes are literally working against me. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bro, my eyes are blue. I can't look at monitors anymore. Amazing. The blue light headaches. Yo, speaking of, I gotta fucking. What is Fred talking about? Wait, did it happen? Did what happen? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just cleaning my glasses. The way brown eyes look with golden hour light, I know, right? Both my parents have brown eyes, but my grandma's blue, so it skipped a generation. Interesting. Very interesting. I will run your fade chat if you try and shine the light in my eyes. I will pin you down, Ray. I will pin you down and hold flashlights in your face. You know our favorite Pokemon trainer, N, has blue eyes. Show some respect. Okay, N is another breed though, okay? Tell him to call me when, when he's older. I don't fucking know. How old is N? I never know. The, sorry, the only thing you can pin is your hair up. You're right. You're right. Um, wait. You, so you know what I fucking hate? I hate, like seeing Pokemon characters because I never I never know I never know and I never know most of them are like underage but then like you come across like a, like a like an evil character like a villain or like a gym leader and I'm like can I simp for this one N is around 2022 20, thank god thank god I want to suck his dick I want to drain his fucking balls and his bank account he is so motherfucking fine. What do you mean you lied? Never mind. I don't want to do that. Never mind. Never mind. Nah. He is a beautiful um, trainer and I, I hope to see him prosper. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna play my game. I'm just gonna play my game. Rut row. Wait, is all that for me? All that food for me? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> the table is set, and so I bid you raise a glass to me. That together we might toast a spectacular accomplishment. What, of me being baited? There's really nothing quite like a hearty meal after a job well done. Drink up, my friend. Drink up. Pokemon Page says he's 20 in his first game and 22 when he when he reappears. Oh, thank God. Thank God. So I can continue saying that I want to suck his fucking dick. I want to suck that dick. Sorry. Sorry, I shot my brains out and and the, the horny horns are taking over. Because I, I feel free. And alive. Hello, Anchi. Had your fill. I have another few bottles ready and waited to be waiting to be opened. No. Oh, very well, if you insist. No, homeboy trying to get me drunk. It occurs to me, my good woman, that I have yet to ask you your name. So quickly did we forge our friendship that I hardly noticed until now. Bro, how do you not know my name? And how did you never ask me? Peppermint. Reek. Oh, he did the. I just want cat boys to surround me while I'm on my knees and so I can like look up at them and have them do the fucking ear wiggles. Is that too much to ask for? Give me the- give me a little like tail like curl and some ear wiggles and I'm good to go! Please! Yoshi P! Square Enix, let 
the female Makote do ear wiggles as well, please. Anyway, peppermint, Reek and Pepper. Yes, I rather like the sound of that. Reek and Pepper, the daring duo, the brave bounty hunters, the scourge of sin eaters. Once we have slain Andrea, not a soul in Norvrant will not know our names. They shall ring out all across the realm. But I should dwell over much in the victory before the struggle. A wise hunt is prepared and patient. It would be prudent to send double, nay, triple the agents afield to seek out promising new leads. I want them on their knees, ear wiggling. Two types of people. Two types of people. I don't want to peg a cat boy unless it's Grahatia. Oh, my favorite down bad streamer. How are you tonight? I am good, Prismatic. I shot my brains out earlier, and honestly, I'm not gonna lie, chat. I can feel something brewing. I don't think I'm safe. Something's coming. And not in a fun way. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a gillionaire. You're sure it's wise to spend your money so freely? Yeah, are you a gillionaire? Worried about the budget for our brave endeavor? Well, don't be. I'm prepared to fund our activities as needed. No expense shall be spared. None whatsoever. Nice. Thanks, Tommy. But cat boys are so breedable. They... <laughs> They are breedable, but so is Pepper. So why are you in the Discord asking people how you taste? Oh, because someone said that they cook Pepper. And I'm, I'm Pepper. It's not that weird, Frenzy! Chat, what do you think Pepper tastes like? Do you think she's sweet? Or salty? I think she's got a bit of a kick to her. I think she's like, I think she's like chai with a bit of sugar, like a little bit of brown sugar. Sweet. I've got that, that, that spice on the bottom, you know? Dead fish, banned. Banned. Get out. The door is that way. Leave. Chai with brown sugar, yeah, right? Or or a spicy hot chocolate. Yeah. Speaking of chicken and pepper, I'm gonna go have lunch. Bro, tell me how I taste. Freedom from privilege. Lurik is, as usual, quite pleased to see you again. <laughs> there she is. Pepper, come to join her bosom companion in the great hunt? My bosom companion? It is well that you have, for I have obtained new information concerning a, a sighting of Andrea on Calusia. The fiend has transformed yet another deadly mark, a great bear in this instance, into an even deadlier eater. And so it falls to Reek and Pepper to slay the newborn eater and continue their pursuit of Norvrand's most notorious virtue. To Calusia and to glory. Her bosom buddies. Chad, do you want to be my bosom buddy? He wants the papussy, and like, can you blame him? Have you seen her? Have you seen Pepper? Rika's has never seen a bosom? Oh, he can. I'm gonna put this slam on, just cause it's cute. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, let me talk to you. Are you, is this a shirtless cat boy? Nope, that's a girl. And her shirt is just skin tone. I got excited. <laughs> I was like, for free? The nippies are out? <laughs> Attuning to buzzer right now. Attuning to wind up Pepper's head right now? Why is that the why is that the fucking command? <laughs> Let us brook no further delay and commence our search. Separately, as before, an emerang. If you catch the eater first, I grant you leave to kill it without me. I trust you will not be disappointed if the reverse were to, occur, were to occur. Surely not, surely not. I myself will be most put off if I happen to lose to you a second time. And so on that note, may the best hunter win. Alright, bestie. Mm -hmm. Jim. 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 I'm gonna get my 
puppy. I don't know, like, what mount. So, okay, so I was, like, I was chatting with Red today. I don't know what minion Pepper should, like, keep around. Because, like, I've, I've had Orchifant since I got him. I literally have not had another minion since. And chat, you know this. And I honestly don't think I will ever change it. But, like, what would Pepper's minion be? You know? What would it be? And what would her mount be? I'm assuming it would just be the black chocobo. Like, just this guy. But I also love her balloons. Look at her. Look at Mary Poppins looking ass. Okay, so we're going somewhere here. That is a big bison. I only keep Mid Midgar armor on. I had him on for a while too. He was my son. That was my boy. I had him. I had the red panda. And yeah, now it's just Orshifa. You survey your surroundings but find no trace of the bear you seek. Alright, let's try up here then. One of the twins? Oh my god, do I have Alize? But not. Oh! The squirrel! How do we feel about Pepper having a little squirrel follow her around? Look how tiny it is! Oh my god, he hop! He hop! Oh, I don't have the corgi minion. I wish I did. Hello, Peter! How are you? I think that one can sit on your shoulder. Will it, though? I've been trying to get all of my guys to sit on my shoulder today, and they- Oh my god, finally. Finally. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's so big. I got a nut in my hair now. His nut is in my hair. He's just a little guy. He's just a little dude. I thought the balloons were for Pennywise? Nah. I don't know. I do like the squirrel. I think the squirrel is cute. The fat cat is also very cute. I had this guy for a while when I first started. Look at how it splutes. That's so cute. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the salt and pepper seal? That one's also cute. It's like Waldo when he was a puppy, you know? Look at him go! 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 He doing his heckin' best! Oh. Or maybe an otter? I don't know. Alpha? No, fuck Alpha. I bought these today. Oh! <gasps> oh! <gasps> oh! <gasps> Glasses and a bow. Oh my god, she's just like me for real. Look at her. Okay, let me take that off. Let me let me find this guy. All right. So we're finding a we're looking for a bear, right? It's just a bear like Sin Eater. Is it gonna be here? Are we gonna find success? So we're looking far and wide. You fit. You fail to find any trace of the bear you seek. Perhaps Lou Reek was indeed the better hunter this day. Now watch his ass be dead. Wind up Emmerich? Nah. Nah. Have you done a side quest called The Greatest Story Never Told? It's full of like puzzles and riddles with no in-game guide. I don't think so. I don't know the name of any of the the uh, the quests in this game. You know you can get him in your shoulder with Beckon, right? Who? Not all the minions um, will go on my shoulder if I like do Beckon. I tried it with some of the others that I have and they just would not fucking listen. Only some of them um, do it. I think it's like the obedient ones that listen. I'm in love with discount Mia Khalifa. Hey, that's racist. Hey, I haven't heard that in a long time. Let me educate you really quickly on why that's racist. So, and this is something that Mia Khalifa is actually really upset about. And I've seen her... I've seen her TikToks where it, like, it, like, it kills her. Mia Khalifa unintentionally has damaged the lives of millions of brown girls. Because when people see a brown woman with glasses, they're like, oh, it's Mia Khalifa. And we get sexually harassed for it. 
and it fucking sucks and she has so much regret and it's obviously not her fault and it they, i am not blaming her but calling women who are brown that wear glasses mia khalifa is fucking racist and it's it's not funny it's gross because all i can think about is oh cool 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 so you're objectifying me you're relating me to a porn star i love that thanks so much Every bald dude on the planet is fucking, like, Johnny Sins now, right? That's how this works? Yeah. That's not how it works. So don't fucking do that. Take that no chat. Do not call brown girls who wear glasses Mia Khalifa. It's fucking disgusting. And, like, I notice it, too. Like, people will see, like, for example, me. Oh, my God, you're just like Farah. You're like Symmetra, like, from Overwatch. Like, because I'm brown? That's the best you could do? Like, you know you can compare brown girls and, like, just POC women to white characters as well, right? Like, you know that's possible, right? But no, they will find the one brown person on the fucking planet and be like, Hey, you look just like them. No, you're racist. We look nothing alike, you know? Who the hell hasn't moved past all blank lookalike? Most people haven't because the internet is fucking gross and people are fucking losers. No, it's, it's really fucking disrespectful. And it doesn't happen to white people, like, ever. Unless they're a white person with blue eyes and black hair and wear glasses and they're all Clark Kent, right? But, you know, it's like I would rather be compared to Clark Kent than Mia Khalifa knowing that people... That was another thing. I dated somebody once upon a time um, who told me that when they missed me they watched porn of these two brown porn stars. I will not name their names. Um, and one of them is a very good friend of mine. You know, like, you could watch porn that, you know, relates to some of, like, my interests. Like, oh, Syrah's into this, so I, if I, I'll go watch this because she's into it. Ah. But to go out of your way to watch women that are brown because you miss me? Mm -mm. No. 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 Disgusting. Disgusting. Story porn or parody porn? Porn. Does it make a fucking di Have an Indian fan and she's constantly compared to Mia Khalifa online. They look nothing alike. I, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. I wish all creeps a very diet. Yeah, I wish all my sexual abusers a very drop. Is that bad of me to say? Like, to the men who, like, rape me and ruin my life, I hope that they perish. Or, like, rot in prison. Is that bad? It's, like, one of those, like, thoughts where I'm like, oh, am I a bad person for thinking this? Because I'm such a people pleaser and I'm so traumatized that any time I, like, stand up for myself or have any kind of, like, rebuttal that defends, like me i'm like oh but what if oh but no the benefit of the doubt <laughs> like, they can die in a fire so true yeah anyway so we'll return to final fantasy 14 but just remember chat It's very easy to not be racist, okay? It's very easy to not be racist, and it's very easy to not make people fucking uncomfortable. Because now I'm very uncomfortable, and I'm just sitting here like... Because the way that I think about it, too, is like, you know, a lot of people say stuff like, Oh, 
there'll be one negative comment, but like nine positive comments. It's like, yes, but that one negative comment is is the, the person who is bold enough to speak for the other like nine people, let's just say, who don't want to say it. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh my god, how many other people are thinking that? Ooh. And all I do is like, I sit and I'm like, I've had guys, um, like, send me photos of myself, like, either on their phone or printed out with their cum, like, on the photo. I've received videos from guys of them jerking off to my photos. And it will be, like, the most normal photo. Like, my going live photos where I'm just like, hey! It's like, it's, it's gross. I hate it. Yeah, being being someone on the internet is not fun. What's with the trolls on Twitter insisting you're trans? I don't know. That's also racism. And like I've ever since I was a kid, I've had people call me a boy. Oh, you're a boy. Oh, you're a boy cuz like I have a mustache, I have a beard, I have strong facial features, and as we all know, strong facial features mean you're masculine. Like, that's a masculine trait. Um, and yeah. And so, like, now there's, like, the sudden, like, spike of, like, people being, like, trans. You're trans. I caught you. It's like, I'm not, though. I'm not. You're just racist. And transphobic. And a misogynist. Like, pick a struggle. Pick a fucking struggle, bro. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. But it, 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 like, tr it's, it triggers me, but I tried to not let it get to me. But, like, it is very, very triggering. Um, yeah. I've had guys, like, like, in high school, like, break up with me. Or, like, you know, distance themselves from me. Because their buddies would call them gay for liking me. Like, like, what the fuck? That fucking hurts. You know? I don't know. I'm so glad I'm not famous and also not hot. I'm neither! They call Daniel Radcliffe's wife a trans man in hiding. It's so funny. I saw that today. Like, TERFs are so insane. They're so insane. Fellas, is it gay to be attracted to women? Right? Like, dude, I... I don't know. Cishet men can be fucking wild. Same with cishet women. Like... I don't know. You're gorgeous, don't stress? Nah, it's not about me... Nah, bro. It's not about me being gorgeous or me being not gorgeous. I can be the ugliest motherfucker you've ever seen in your life. But that doesn't mean that I should. I deserve to be misgendered and I deserve to be bullied. I could be ugly as fucking sin. Someone could fall in love with me. A straight man could fall in love with me. A cis woman. And then they'd be called, oh, you're gay. You're gay because you like her and she looks like a man. So you're you're a homosexual. Like, what? They're like, oh, we can always tell them proceed to out a cis woman. That's usually, like, crazy hot. I know. They're just mad because we're hot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to have this discussion anymore. I'm sorry I even went on this tangent. I'm sorry if this is a... I'm not sure if this is a weird question, but are you Persian? I am. I'm Persian. I'm... And I'm Indo-Guyanese. That's not a weird question. Thanks for asking instead of assuming, though. But yeah, I don't want to have this, talk, this discussion anymore. I'm getting fucking anxious, so... We're just gonna continue this. It's in the eyes? I've been, it's... Uh, is it the eyes or is it the nose? <laughs> okay? Let's be real. <laughs> that, too? See? <laughs> Hate to say it, Pepper, but it seems we're late to the party. Landbird and his mates threw the bear before we could. What is this fucking hairstyle, bro? So it's true then, you've cast a lot in with this boy. With the boy, you poor daft sod. 
But I don't understand. The eater was a newborn. How could you possibly have learned of it and gotten here before we did? This is just Ardbert with fucking funky ass hair. Shikamaru looking at- Yo, I was down bad for Shikamaru though, okay? Shikamaru and Neji. As a big nose haver, I salute you. Yo, big noses are fucking sexy, okay? We love big noses in this household, all right? Big nose supremacy. The no support group, I love this. Hell yeah! It's true, I lied, I am hot. Yeah, if you have a big nose, you're automatically hot. Bro, you got a fucking saddle on your face, all right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If you got a big nose! That's doing half the work for you already. <laughs> well, see, that's the problem with relying on hired help. They're loyal to your coin, not you. And you're not the only one willing to open his purse. Oh. But more importantly, Reek, what's this I hear about you hunting Andrea? With help, I mean, rather than all by your lonesome- Bro, you literally have two big dudes with you. What you talking about? I have a distinct memory of you storming off in a huff saying you didn't need me or anyone else to finish the job. Tell me I'm wrong. Bro, knock off Ardbert, chill. Emo Bert, relax. Do as you like. Help or no, you have no chance of beating me to the prize. Because unlike you, I'm not all talk. And neither are my mates. Speaking of mates, how much did it cost you to buy her friendship? Do tell. Are you slut shaming me? Did he just call me a whore? Is it my outfit? Are you calling me a prostitute? Did I just get Mia Khalifa? What the fuck? He just said, hey, she looks like Mia Khalifa. What the fuck? And they're laughing! Dead and do thing for 23 months recent. I appreciate it. I'm a prostacat. I'm a... I'm a prostacat. Piss off, Landbird. Why are you still here? You got your mark, didn't you? You should choose your friends more carefully, sinner. When all goes wrong, don't say I didn't warn you. What the fuck? Bro, you're wearing the same armor I wore when I was in Heaven's Ward at level 60, all right? Buff it up. Fix your fucking glam. You have questions, I'm sure. As you may have surmised, Lambert was once a comrade of mine. I took him into my service that we might own our skills, battling sin eaters in preparation for facing Andrea. However, I soon came to see that he was not all that capable of a hunter, and so I dissolved our working relationship. Unfortunately, he did not take it in he did not take it in stride, and instead resolved to recruit new companions that he might beat me at my own game. It would seem that his fortunes have improved greatly of late, so much so that I fear we can no longer afford to dedicate time to tracking lesser lesser eaters and much devote and must devote our undivided attention to, to the pursuit of Andrea. As such, we should be we should be getting back to the Crystarium. But before we depart, I have one other matter to attend to in Yulemore. If I might trouble you to accompany me? Ah, uh, but of course you will. Let us be off. Bro's assuming that I'm gonna join him because he's putting money in my pocket. What the fuck? Thank you for the hydration. Sire Popcat, Sire Popcat, Sire Popcat. Andy, thank you for the nine months. What are we naming our Twitch baby? Welcome back to the Coverage of Bad Inner Inner's Day. Prostate cat. Pepper when she sees Grahatia. It's a run of Yulmar, right? Alrighty. Oh, it's chilly in here. I'm gonna be right back, chat. I need to get a cardigan. I know I've got a blanket on on my lap, but it's not oh, it's not enough. I need a little bit more warmth right now. Be right back.
Sarah Popcat. I'm back. I've got my cardigan. I got some snacks. Oh! Queen Rural Diva, 31 months! Welcome back to the coven. I hope you're badger months and your stay. I was playing with Waldo too, and I have his hair in my nose now. I wrote something for you about a previous night where we had another situation like right now. I sent it on Fan House and I hope my words help a bit. I will read it when I can. Thanks, Bean. What snacks? The last of my Pokemon cookies. I need to go buy more. I actually have to do grocery shopping. Like really soon. Tomorrow I'm shooting with a friend in the morning, so I don't think I'll have time. But we'll see. Goodbye, cat boy. I miss you already. I'm like running out of snacks. There's a part of me that wants to order Popeyes right now, but I know I'll shit my pants. But I really want Popeyes. Oh, hey, I haven't been here in a minute. So, this is where you like to go in your off time, huh? Pepper, allow me to introduce you to my father and mother. Yo, this is where your mom and dad hang out? Bro. Hey, I don't blame them. I want to watch fucking dude strip too. What the hell? <laughs> father, this is my traveling companion and dear friend. And dear friend? Wait, wait, wait. He's introducing to me... He's introducing me to his family and calling me his dear friend? What the fuck? Oh, and they're ignoring him. She and I have resolved to hunt a particularly deadly sin eater. Indeed, I cannot overstate how terribly dangerous this eater is. That to pursue it is to count is to court death itself. However, when we at last triumph over the fiend, all of Norvant shall sing her praises. Oh no. I have a theory. He wants to get praise from his family, you know? They're ignoring him, they don't give a fuck about him. And he's doing everything he can to, like, impress them and to get praise. To show them that he's a tough boy. Hi, Ramen, what's up? Won't that be wonderful, Father? So long as you do not sully our good name, you are free to hunt whatever core you desire. I can do without all the petty details. Oh my god. No, this is so sad. Red and Pepper. When Larry and Devin wants want trucks. You came up with my recommended on Twitch and I just saw that we have quite a few mutual friends on Instagram. Oh shit! We love to see it! Hell yeah! Well, welcome mutual pal. <laughs> You know Sanj and Surat and Vardan? I do. Vardan sounds familiar. Hold on. Do I know those people? I follow them at least. Yeah, okay, I follow them. I don't know them, though. I've got an urge to play Skyrim again, but I've only got it on the Switch. That's fine. What's wrong with playing Skyrim on the Switch? No, this is so sad. Now then, how much are you required this time? Out with it. Oh, never mind. Just give the boy my coin purse, would you? I'm sure it will suffice for his trivial pursuits. Oh my god. That's why you're here, is it not? Another handout? Don't play coy. You've never been go any good at it. Oh my god. Fuck him up. I got daddy issues. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Nah, I'm taking this boy with me. You know, I honestly don't know why I came here. Keep your coin, father. We're leaving, Pepper. Right now. 
Pepper, do you have any choice words? Do you have any choice words? Where is he? Where? He's gone! Oh, there he is. I can't even... I can't even... There we go. Let's fucking go, bro. Let's tussle. Let's fucking tussle! Asshole. Ugh. That breaks my heart. That makes me so sad. Okay, where are we going? Back in the Crystarium. Man. I have a soft spot for anybody that also has daddy issues. I never had a dad. My dad is ass. He doesn't exist. This breaks my heart. Hello? Why is my monitor... Okay, that's a bit better. Oh, you made music together? Hell yeah, that's sick! I wish I had, like, musical capabilities. I wanna- Man, I wish I could be a DJ. I don't know why. I just feel like that'd be fun. I feel like I'd kill it, but like I don't know what I'm doing, you know? Never mind, Red would join Larry and Devin. Fuck that guy. Fuck him, man. I'd like to think we're good parents. I don't know how to, how to DJ a few years ago. Was that your, um, like your COVID uh, project? Or COVID hobby, rather? One more wrong way. You left me at the foundation cold, naked, and alone the other day? Um, who are you? Who are you again? Some DJs don't even DJ for real. Mm. Vouch. One of my buddies, he's a big successful DJ. His partner started DJing. But he does all her mixes and she just pushes the button when she's live. He's made like all of her tracks. And I remember when he told me that I was like, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> like she tells him like, like, oh, like this is how I want it to sound. This is what I like. Blah, blah, blah. Like it's a collab, but like he makes the music. Good for her. Good for her. Ratatouille! Ratatouille ass DJ, don't fucking kill me. That's just something, but it is what it is, yeah. I mean, whatever. Whatever, right? I don't know if, like, she's open about it or not. I would hope so. Like, I would love to be a DJ, but I wouldn't know what I'm doing. So I would also do the same thing. Like, I would love to collab with somebody, but I would give them, like, full credit, you know? One of my DJ friends used to DJ from the iTunes app. You mean, like, he would just put on music? Bro, I can make a banging playlist. I can make a good house playlist. I ain't no fucking DJ. Oh my god, it's DJ Cyrus Spooks with her new house playlist on Spotify. Forgive me, Pepper. But I would forgo the wine on this occasion. Father's lackluster reception has put me in rather dour spirits. As you may have gathered from our exchange, I am a free citizen of Yulmor. Owing to my parents' considerable wealth, I have enjoyed a relatively privileged upbringing. Privileged and unbearably boring, which is why I quit the city and resolved to become a bounty hunter. You know what? I have a lot of respect for him. I'm no fool, though. I'm well aware of my fortunate, my fortunate circumstances, which is why I elected to conceal them from the people of the Crystarium. People are wont to jump to uncharitable conclusions. I feel as though you and I have established a report, though, and so I thought it best to bring you into my confidence. I pray you, refra you refrain from telling others. Now then, since Landbird has decided to turn it, turn this into a race, we have no choice but to oblige him and slay Andrea before he does. 
This calls for a veritable army of hired hands. Nah, girl, you got me. Alas, in a fit of frustration, I refuse Felder's coin. Without additional resources, we have no choice but to conduct the search by ourselves. Moreover, I am rather embarrassed to admit that I can pay you only a token sum at this time. But I trust that will not deter you from joining me anon. I was never in this for for the gill. Yeah, I was just teasing you, buddy. I'm just gonna pass the bar. Really? I mean, uh, of course you weren't. Perish the thought. <laughs> hey, you gave me five hundred more than I got last time. What do you mean you 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 can't you can't give me as much coin as before, huh? What do you mean by that? The hunter's legacy. Lurik appears to have struck, to have been struck by an epiphany. I gave her the hydration. Ooh. Wait, Anshi, you were a SoundCloud rapper? What the fuck? This is some lore I did not expect. When do we get to, to hear you rap in the server? What am I drinking? Water. Water, babes, water. Pepper, my friend. Thank the gods you're here. Ever since we parted ways, I've been exhausting myself running, or running all over the Crystarium, questioning anyone and everyone, hoping someone might have seen Andrea. But alas, only the Crystarium. So you haven't gone outside even for a bit? Yeah. Ramen! Thank you for this. Uh, welcome to the coven. I hope your badge must end your stay. That was quick. You came into the chat, sat here for five minutes, and you were like, bet, I'm giving her my money. <laughs> well, of course. Surely this is the limit of what a man with meager financial resources can probably have a fish. Mmm. English. Surely this is the limit of what a man with meager financial resources can accomplish. Well, never mind all that. For it, but recently dawned on me that the that the vision you beheld of Renda Ray's past could hold the clues for which we have been desperately searching. I have cookies all on my teeth now. When you first described it to me, I felt as though I had heard it before. And I had. My wet nurse had told me the exact same story when I was still a boy. It was the tale of a courageous hunter who, together with her comrades, had on a quest to slay a notorious mark. A great horned beast. They came upon their quarry in a desert, and there attempted to lay it low. Alas, the beast had a singular strength, and the hunter a fatal weakness. And so, in the ensuing struggle, her comrades were killed, leaving her as a sole survivor <coughs> to swear vengeance. Would you not agree that your vision is a perfect match for this tale? Mm-hmm. And there can be no doubt, Renda raised a celebrated hunter, the hero I so admired in my childhood. Oh my god. Coming full circle here. After that tragic day, the hunter resolved not to rely upon others, and instead slew the beast by herself. She somehow found a way to compensate for her weakness. Anyway, my recollection of the tale is likely riddled with errors. We should ask Miss Olvar to recount it in full. She was a bounty hunter herself before she entered into our service, you know. That's her wet nurse? Also, in light of all this, I should share with you an interesting theory concerning all the virtues. I heard from a fellow hunter. Apparently, each appears to be driven by particular memories. Moments that forever change each of these fallen heroes. Yes! I I have put that together, Reek! Makes sense, doesn't it? Render Ray being a hunter of notorious marks in life and in death. I don't know why it never occurred to me before. Yeah, they're stuck in this in this cycle, in a loop. But if that is indeed the reason for why she behaves as she does, then the more we learn about Render Ray's adventures, the better our chances of predicting where she'll turn up. All the more reason to go out and see my f my former wet nurse. Miss Lavara lives in Gate Town on Calusia. Let's be off then. Yeah, the fact that he has a that he had a wet nurse growing up. His parents did not give two fucking shits about him since birth, huh? Mother didn't feed him. Father doesn't care for him. He's always like fighting for their approval. Man, nah, I'm sad. I feel for this kid. What the fuck? Enjoy your look, frenzy. You follow my friends, my homies on Instagram, and your dope what I decided to sub. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Look, y'all can do karaoke in the server. I will not sing. I'll join, though. And then I'll listen. 
But I will not be singing with y'all. I cannot sing for the life of me. What the fuck is this? What is this? It's huge. I feel like there are still so many enemies in this game that I haven't like actually seen yet. Like in areas that I've been in. Or like I've seen them, but like in passing, you know? You don't need to be able to sing to do karaoke? Nah, 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 nah. I don't care, y'all are not hearing me. Nah. Discord lag makes karaoke hard, you're right. But that's okay. You know what we have, you gotta do? You gotta play it on your end, through your speakers, and just belt it out. <laughs> Let me know when so I can break my mic that day. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, this is Miss Olvara, the wet nurse who raised me for, for practically the entirety of my childhood. She was born into my family and lived with us in the city at the time, but when I came of age, she was forced to leave. Oh, that's so sad, and she lives in the outskirts. My, you've grown to such a strapping young man. But I can't imagine you came to Gaytown just to pay me a visit, my little reek. Not in front of her, if you please. <laughs> Oh, but to answer your question, we did in fact come to see you. There were stories you told me as a child of a courageous hunter. Was that hunter perchance the warrior of light, Renda Ray? All the reasons you could have had. Aye, those stories were of Renda Ray, the greatest bounty hunter of her day, the legend so many aspired to become. Let's go after the flood. It was still fresh in everyone's mind when I was younger, and for all the good they had done in life, none could deny the chaos they sowed in death, as Sin Eaters. But despite all of that, me and my still looked up to her. We knew all her feats and swore to preserve them. Sorry, Chad, I'm like, I'm getting like, a, I'm having like sensory issues in my mouth and I need to just like bite my, my straw. So if I sound funny, I'm sorry. In secret, if need be, that she might inspire- it's really hard to talk and do this. That she might inspire future generations as she had ours. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna go AFK for a second. I need to desensitize myself. I'll be right back.
Hello chat, I'm here. I'm just like relentlessly stabbing my gums with my straw. Don't mind me. So you know how I have like my spicy chicken jalapeno ramen? So there have been, I have to, I have to like eat that with glasses on because otherwise when I slurp the jalapeno juices, like they get like, they flick into my eye and like I'm always on fire. One time I had spicy nachos with like a bunch of jalapeno and cheese and I was sucking this guy's dick and within like two seconds it all came out on his pee pee. He didn't get an infection or anything but he was on fire. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fucking bad. It was pretty fucking bad. I felt so bad. I felt so bad. <laughs> and like ever since then, I never sucked his dick again. I was like, we're done here. <laughs> I'm scared to suck pee pee now. You just put your shoes on and disappear from his life. Yeah, the last memory we have together is me, like, not- I didn't even vomit. See, that's the thing. It wasn't even like, oh my god. It was just like, what? What? I'm going. We're going. Hey, this is fun. Whoa! What came out of me? <laughs> and we just like, he laid there and I just like stood, stood there. I just like sat there. And for like three, like four or five seconds, we were just like. And then he was like, go get the two. <laughs> and I was like, I got you, bro. Don't worry, brother. <laughs> Say less. Hopped into the shower. Wiped off the cheese and, and spicy juice. <laughs> That's not the cheese and juice he wanted, but it's the cheese and juice he got it. He got it instead. Ah! <laughs> and you get on me about shitting myself? Bro, you pooping yourself in public is so much worse than me yakking on a dick. Okay, look, this is all I'm gonna say, okay? If you're- if you want someone to suck your cock, you better be okay with accepting the fact that they may puke on it. That there is a chance that some food or some vomit may get on that dick. It, it's bound to happen. It's like anal. You should douche, but like, there's bound to be a little bit of poop. There might be some caca. Suck it up, you know? Sex is gross. It's fun. And it feels great, but shit happens. Just run to the shower and continue. It's why it's called the back door. God's hole. The god loophole. God's loophole. Is why I'm happily asexual. Honestly, you're clean. You're living your best life. I was pegging my ex and there was a little shit on the dildo once. It was unpleasant. I was smelling something and was like, wait. Hey, it happens! It happens! Another ed edition of Sex Talk with Syra. Yeah, we're getting those frequently, huh? Oh, I got a story about anal and poop. Friends, you may want to leave. <laughs> Tell us the story, Denim. Whose asshole is that clean? Come on, right? Who cleans the dildo after that? Like, what is the etiquette? I guess, like, so for me, I would rather clean my own toys. Like, if something went inside of me, I want to be the one to clean it up. But also, I don't want you to be squeamish over it. 
You know what I mean? You know? I don't want you to go, ew, gross. Nah. Nah. That is a red flag. I had someone once, like, come into my room and they spotted my vibrator and they started making a bunch of jokes. I'm like, bro, are you in, like, are you in fucking high school? Are you literally in high school? As if you don't jerk off every fucking night? Like, why is it that, like, a guy can, can jerk off with his, with his hand, his sock, and his fucking, like, lotion? But when a pussy beholder needs extra assistance we get like teased ha ha you're using a toy like yeah because you can't get the job done <laughs> you know john thank you for the nine month resub what a fucking time for you to walk into my stream bro i start talking about anal and you spawn vibes look so cozy my brother in Christ, if you only knew what we've been talking about. <laughs> How you doing? Thank you for the nine months. I went to hook up with a guy and I never douched before. When he pulled up, poop came along with it and I pooped a little on him because I was on top. Since then, I've learned my lesson. You gotta douche. You gotta fucking douche. You have to douche, but you have to be accepting of the reality that it may not be enough. Isn't it always a topic with you? You know what? You got me there. <laughs> you got me there. Man was called in here like he saw the bat signal. <laughs> Anal! <laughs> Just a massive butthole in the sky and he came running. I had one of my guy friends in high school be adamant. He never jerked off, but like, man was horny, so we were all like, hmm. Well, I mean, you could be horny and not masturbate. I went through a really big phase where I never, like, touched myself and I, like, wasn't, like, having sex. But I was the horniest motherfucker. Like, I was reading fanfic every night, bro. And it was not, it was not the cute kind. How do we even get here? I don't fucking know. Oh, we got here because fucking Pars is dumb and, like, wiped his nose with his jalapeno-ass fucking napkin. And then I just had to tell y'all... That I had spicy jalapeno nachos with cheese and fucking got it all on my ex's dick. <laughs> From my mouth! Anyway. I know that's TMI. Y'all don't- y'all don't know the person. I don't know the person anymore either. So... You mentioned it getting on my caca. I know, but it's still your fault. <laughs> Hi, Anna. Yeah, no secrets. Nah, no, I have no shame. I do, I do keep some things to myself. There's a lot about me that the internet will never know. Obviously, my I do keep my life very private. But I have a lot of moments that I, I love sharing. I love... I love talking about these things because also like why 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 would I be ashamed? Why? <laughs> Cuz I'm getting some. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to take crayons in the bathroom while I pooped, break them and then flush them down the toilet. Why? That's not really where I thought that conversation or that like message was going um because when i was constipated like when i was a kid and i was constipated i had to use suppositories to help me poop and it was kind of like the equivalent of putting a crayon up your ass so i really thought you were gonna say that you know when you would go to poop at school you would put a crayon in your butt to help you poop and i, I you know what i would not judge you for that You don't know him, we don't know him, yak peppers on a dude, and you're as good as strangers <laughs> again. Exactly, exactly. 
literally plunge your booty pipe. I have never in my entire life ever heard somebody call a butthole a booty pipe. I... Amazing. Now, when I'm constipated, I just shovel back prunes. Prunes are good, chat. Wakes up, wipes sleep from eyes, checks in with streamers. So what's up on the internet today? Oh, dear. <laughs> Look, you never know what to expect when you come into my streams. I'm either crying or talking about, like, buttholes. Which crayon do you think would be the best poop plunger? Probably red. I think red would be the best poop plunger. Just a thought. <laughs> This little shit. Yeah, that's what the crayon says. That's exactly what Red says. <laughs> when it finally comes out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bestie. <laughs> Why? No, you're so right. I know. I know I'm right. Am I wrong? Tell me I'm wrong, chat. Red would be a great poop plunger. I'm trying to eat my macaron and it's brown. It's the little shit. Anchi, be careful. Be careful, bestie. I'm eating a bagel with peanut butter. Yo, I want a bagel. It's also brown. Are we just all eating brown food today? I'm brown. No one's eating me. What the fuck? Nah. Mm mm. Unfair. <laughs> On my way, Kelsey. <laughs> nah, Auntie, you didn't eat me. You ate pepper. I had an angel, an angel, an anal fissure li late last year. And the first time I found out I nearly died, I was like, why the fuck is there blood all up in the toilet? Oh my god. My best friend used to, like, her butthole used to bleed all the time and she would never do anything about it. I was like, girl, you die. And she's like, nah, I'm good. I'm just shitting blood. And I'm like, nah, you gotta get that checked out. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, she was, well, you know what? Nah, she had it coming. This was the girl who was really racist and, like, taught me that it was okay to say slurs so you know what nah i hope her butthole is still suffering she's a terrible person her butthole can continue fuck that bitch fuck that bitch mm -mm. we do not stand in this household <laughs> But despite all that, me and my mate still looked- Oh yeah, let's get back to this. <laughs> let's get back to this! Let's get back to the fucking- To this fucking, uh, quest line. Just imagine if a doctor finds crayons in a bottle. <laughs> you get a fucking x-ray and there's just a bunch of crayons lined up in your booty pipe. <laughs> Bro, I was literally telling myself, like, oh, yeah, like, this will be a quick stream because, like, these quests are really quick. It's been two and a half hours, almost three hours, and we're only on the level 76 quest. Let's get back to, to the roll quest. But despite all of that, me and my mate still looked up to her. We knew all her feats and swore to preserve them, in secret if need be, that she might inspire future generations she had as she had ours. So years and years later, when you wanted to hear tales of adventure and heroism, I couldn't help but share with you the ones nearest and dearest to my heart. I only wish I had I hadn't had the I hadn't had to change all the names. <laughs> then it's true. The hero who I looked up to as a child, whose tales of daring of daring do daring do daring do drove me to take up the bow, as you had, to pester you for training that I might become a bounty hunter. It was her. Miss Lavara, Pepper and I are hunting Andrea, and we believe that one of the stories you shared with me may help guide our search. Namely, the one about the great horned beast that killed her friends. Will you tell it to me again? Wicked White, is that? Oh, my little reek. Very well. Not this music. Not this music. 
every time I hear this song, all I think of is Grahatia in those moments on like, what was it? Was it Mount Gulg? I don't remember. When like, I was dying and he was trying to save me and the fucking wind blew his like, hood off. And then he got fucking kapowied by Emmett Selk. I'm so sad. <laughs> I am so sad. The song is so fucking good. Like, it's so good. I want to, like, I want to pick up the piano again and learn how to play this song specifically. I miss playing the piano, but, like, I tick too much to... To, to play. You could say anything behind the song and it would sound so profound. Call me Mario. Because I'm diving into your booty pipes. That's the best I could do. That was the best I could do on the spot. I'm so sorry. I blame Frenzy for Booty Pipe. I'm not going to be able to stop saying that. Yahoo! <laughs> Yahoo! Take it back? No. Did you grow up on a chicken farm? Because you really know how to raise this cock. <laughs> no! That's so bad! That's terrible, Kelsey! <laughs> Even as a young hunter, Renda Ray's incredible hearing was unparalleled. She could track her quarry through a forest by the most minute. It's minute, right? I think that's how you pronounce it, or is it just minute? I don't know. Minute? Min. I, I, know, the, I know the word. It's in my head, but I can't say it out loud. Whatever. Uh. Minute? Minute. 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 That's it. Minute. By the most minute sounds of their passing. Is that it? Whatever. Uh, from mom's away, even by... Even! Wait. Sounds of their passing from mom's away, even, by some accounts. Even the most subtle and stealthy beast never eluded her for long. A misplaced foot, a snap branch. Eventually, Renda Ray would know. And her aim was always good and true. Damn, is Sybil like a reincarnation of Renda Ray? Because Sybil plays... Sybil's a bard. Sybil's an archer. Why did I just slap my tit? Did you see that? Did you see that jiggle? <laughs> oh yeah, I want to build a coop for animals in Stardew. Let me look that up. <gasps> Let's play Stardew soon, please. I miss our farm. As she grew older and owned her skills further, she set her eyes on bigger prizes. She became a hunter of notorious marks, and together with her comrades earned fame and fortune. Tomorrow we play? Bro, tomorrow I'm- it's- it's Endwalker Day! Bro, we're playing Endwalker tomorrow! I can't! My entire day is busy! I wake up, I have a shoot with a friend, I come home, I deep clean, and I get ready! I'm busy Saturday? I might be busy Saturday. I might be busy Sunday. Bitch. We'll fucking figure it out. Cancel the Endwalker stream for Stardew? Oh, I will. Don't test me, chat. I can. <laughs> Do y'all not want Endwalker? Do y'all not want Endwalker anymore? I've been waiting for this? I don't know, it doesn't seem like you really want it. it. Seems like you'd rather have Stardew instead. It's okay. It's fine. What about Blade Runner instead? <laughs> okay, okay, fine, fine. No, 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 no. It's okay. Y'all want Endwalker all of a sudden. Okay, okay. Okay. I guess Endwalker is still on the schedule then. I guess I won't remove it off of my calendar. As their reputation swelled, so did their egos. Only the most dangerous game would suffice, and so they resolved to hunt the Scourge of Norvrant. Of Norvrant, the Devourer of Souls, Balam Quits. 
But what Renda Ray did not realize was that her greatest strength would prove her undoing. For when she faced Bell and quits, the beast roared with such force that it brought her to her knees. Helpless, she could only watch as it claimed the lives of her beloved comrades and fled. After burying the hunters and vowing that she would one day avenge them, she took to the road once more. She met Ardbert and his fellow warriors of light, and for a time she accompanied the fledgling heroes on their adventures. Chat, do I get Popeyes? Oh, look at them! To them, she was a breath of fresh air, a vibrant young woman who savored every moment and found joy in the simple pleasures. They knew not of their fallen friends or how their death weighed heavy upon her still, or their deaths rather. The party wandered the realm, performing many great deeds and growing ever stronger, as had Renda Ray. While in Calusia, she even devised a means to defend against the powerful roar that had been her downfall that fateful day. And then, while engaged in an adventure in Raktika, in Raktika, a rumor reached Renda Ray's ears. Balmquits, Scourge of Norrant, Devourer of Souls, had been spotted wandering the city of swamps. It was a so that's where I have to go, the swamps. It was a golden opportunity, but to seize it would be to face the beast alone. She could not wait for Ardbert and the others, nor could she ask that they forsake their, their sworn duty. But perhaps it was just as well, for the memory of her defeat still haunted her. The courageous hunter had allowed a single fear to take root in her heart, the fear of losing her new companions as she had her old. So it was that Renda Ray ventured forth in secret, resolved to slay her hated foe, Balm Quits, alone. And with all her strength and guile, the legendary hunter did just that. Oh, she did it! Vengeance claimed she would join Arbor and the others and never spoke of the terrible battle twixt her and the dread beast. Oh. So she just like held on to that and never shared it. Interesting. That was her own little victory. She got her closure and her revenge. She's vengeance. From that day forward, she was Renda Ray, the warrior of light, Batman, and the deeds of her and her comrades would be celebrated for forevermore. It's strange to think that the woman I admired when I was young would become the sin eater I swore to slay. But she became doesn't change who she was. Even if the tales were a little embellished over the years, they were rooted in truth. She was and will always be a hero to me, and to you, I hope. Thank you, Miss Elvara, for everything. I promise I'll visit you again soon. So, Pepper, remember that theory I told you about the virtues being driven by powerful memories? If Andrea is reenacting the journey leading up to her confrontation with Balm Quits, the one that took her from Amarang to Calusia, then her next destination must be the Raktika Greatwoods, wasn't it? The Kingdom of Rainbows, Ilmeg. No, the Raktika Greatwood. This could have been a server. Right! That was where she laid low the beast at last, in the city of swamps, to be precise. And so that is where we shall go. Let us away. Sick. Now listen, Reek. There's an awful lot of people who don't know about Renda Ray, or the world for that matter. So what, wherever you go and whatever you see, remember not to take it at face value. Don't just accept what others tell you as good and true. Listen to your heart and decide for yourself, and be safe. Okay, Grandma. You bad y'all, you're right. Pepper, was it? It is such a pleasure to meet a friend of Reek's. His parents never hesitated to provide him with all the wealth and opportunities they could. When it came to love and support, well, all I can say is that it is a miracle that boy turned out as well as he did. One could never have too many friends or too much support. That goes for you as well, I should think. Oh, You gonna make me cry, Grandma. All right, where are we going? Oh, this way. All right, Slitherbow. Slitherbow again. We love to see it. Wait, what happened? Did Red do an oopsie? What did Red do? What did he do to you, Elise? We lahi in it up already. Wait, wait. Did I TP and it kept me on my mount? Is that new? 
Wait, I can be mounted and TP? Wait, or did I instinctively open my... Get out my mount without realizing it? Don't worry about it? Okay. You could always do that? Are you serious? Am I dumb? No way. You keep your mount when teleporting, unless you're teleporting somewhere you can't mount. Oh. That makes sense then. La, and I can't stress this enough. Hee! This theme does not need to go so hard. I remember when I first got to this area, I was jamming immediately. I was like, fuck yeah! I really wish I could experience all of this for the first time again. It's so fucking good. When I was little, Miss Elvara seemed so much bigger and stronger than me. Though, to be perfectly honest, the way she carries herself even now bespeaks a confidence I cannot help but envy. But never mind that. We have a virtue to hunt. Let us commence our search at once and keep your weapons at the ready, my friend. Alrighty, besties. But first... Do I get Wendy's? Do I get McDonald's? Or do I get Popeye's? If I get- or do I get A&W? If I get Popeye's, I will probably shit my brains out, but that might be for the best. I'm getting Popeye's, fuck it. Oh, evil Sybil is here. Heh, <laughs> about time I luck took a turn for the better. Wendy's nuts? Bet. Get a mama burger? Ooh. Ooh. I could go for a chubby burger. The little chubby? I love the chubbies. The toilet better have brace bars! No, you're so right. Okay, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get nuggies. I feel like it's like tradition at this point because every time I stream this game, aka every time I stream, I get I get nuggets. And I can't help it. I love my nuggies. My nuggies and my tatoes. Fuck it. I'm getting my nuggies and I'm getting my tatoes. What do I get, chat? Do I get iced tea, ginger ale, apple juice? Smart water? I'm gonna get- or Sprite. I'm gonna get water. Alright, chat. The nuggies are being ordered. I gotta try NW. I don't think there is one here. I'm pretty sure NW is Canadian. I'm gonna buy some tomorrow. I love Appy Juice. I have a lot of ginger ale. I'm good. But Appy Juice fucking bangs. Agua! My Agua! <laughs> Get some Agua for the soul. Wait, y'all have A&W? I thought A&W was Canadian. Oh, they're just rare. Okay, okay. Interesting. Well, I think it is Canadian. I think, yeah, you guys just have some too. I love apple juice. Cold apple juice fucking smacks. I, yeah. Our fucking McDonald's is also better than American McDonald's too. Y'all have whack sizes, but like ours just bangs. Canadian fast food just in general is better than American fast food. At least like, that's what like a lot of us think. I think I have it in this area because I'm close to the Vancouver border. Oh, that makes sense. Have any of y'all had a Tim Hortons double double before? Cold apple just makes the pain go away for like a solid minute. Nah, makes the pain go away for a whole day. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Hold on, chat. I have to open up the Twitch. Um, like, I have to pop out chat because it's bugging again. Actually, pop out chat because it's... Red, if you are the sweetest angel poopy pants stinky McGee that I know that you are, um, can you do me a favor and see if you can, like, find any sort of, like... Or just anyone in chat, really. Find any sort of, like, answer on Google as to why every time I'm, like, playing a game or I'm just, like, not in OBS, it fucking freezes. My alerts freeze. My chat freezes. Everything 
like nothing loads. I can't see anything. It like y'all can see it like this will freeze. You can spam chat and it won't fucking move. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. And I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Watch. Now it's fucking working. Now it's working. Of course. Of course. Anyway. Heh. <laughs> About to- Oh, I read that. I'll do some digging. Thank you. Did she spot me? Oh, shit. I'm getting the vision, babes. What? Now? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. God, Pepper is so pretty. I would literally die for her. Every time she's on screen, I just start swooning. All right, evil Sybil. What's up? Well, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the Covenant of your Avengers and your stay. See, look, it's bugging. It's bugging. That wasn't smooth. Hmm? I wish you were all here with me, but I know it's better that you're not. Oh, we're going to watch her take it down. We have a score to settle, you bloody bastard. Oh, I forgot I was doing an accent for her. And this time, I'm ready for your tricks. Damn, so she soloed him, eh? Oh, am I gonna play as her and take him down? Oh, fuck yeah. Hey, what does that do? What is this doing? Is that interrupt? Going here. Interrupts the UD. Yeah, okay. Oh, how long? Oh, wait, does it stun up too? Okay. Yeah. I'm dumb. Can I do this one? No, I can't. Just got me doing these over and over. Pay okay for taking them from me. Yes, queen! Get his ass! Mm, okay, no, it doesn't. It doesn't stun. Okay. Damn, this is gonna be a long fucking fight. It's gonna be a long fucking duty. <laughs> good night, Anchi. Good night, good night. Todd, how are you feeling? I see you still in chat. How goes the surgery recovery? What's it looking like? Hi, Molly. Hello, it's nice to see you. Hold on, what is the difference between these? Because I know that's normal. Oh, it just adds a civic fight. Right, right, right. Okay, I see it now. It's like, it's very valid that doing these duties, you know, they don't give you a ton of, um... Uh, abilities for you to use. It was my fault. My failure. That's why I have to do it alone. Oh, bestie. But yeah, it makes sense they don't give you a ton of abilities when you do duties as other NPCs because like you're gonna have to learn like a whole new, like a whole new set of um, abilities. But still, sometimes I wish we had a little bit more. Just a little more, you know. If only I'd been strong back then. We'd still be alive. Oh no, the guilt. It hurts. It fucking hurts. Mm, that's not gonna do anything, yeah. Okay. Can I interrupt this? I don't think so. Gah! It won't end like this. Oh, they came down! God's 
damn it, Renda! Me in the nick, I see. Oh! They're here to help! Are you hurt? Don't worry, I've got you. Love it! Love it! Stack with me, bitches! Stack! Oh my god, they came to help her! story's been embellished and stuff. Oh, but in reality, she didn't do it alone. She didn't face it alone. She had her friends. She had the power of friendship. Oh. I'm coming, bitch. We got this. Don't worry. Cause I was, you know, I was fucking, I was sitting here and I was thinking, there's no way I'm gonna take down this beast on my own because its HP was going down so fucking slow. Oh, I don't need to use that. That's fine though. I'm so glad that she has her friends. Power, look, the power of friendship is way stronger than the power of anime and God, okay? You don't need God or anime when you got friendship, baby. But imagine if you had all three. Unstoppable. Unfucking stoppable. Ooh. Doing a little rotating, I see. <laughs> Like, no, you're right, you're right. Cannot forget that. I don't remember what the positions for Bard is. Is it like the rear? Is it here? Ooh, this is a long buildup. I'll lend you my power. Oh, she fucking LB'd. Together we will avenge my fallen friends. Yes, we will. Don't worry, bestie. Oh, he's getting blue. Was he always this blue? Oh my god, you got it. Yes! Maybe if the cat had fucking friends, it wouldn't die. But no. Power of friendship, baby. Power of friendship. Huh. Tough old bugger. Everyone alright? Albert, I... I don't know what to say. Thank you, everyone. And I'm sorry for trying to go it alone, or do it alone. And why, pray tell, did you even try to do something so foolish? If you'd been here from the first, it wouldn't have been anything even approaching a challenge. Back in the day, I was a bounty hunter. I've told you that much, but I haven't told you about my old partners. Together we tracked and claimed countless not notorious marks throughout Northrend. The best in the business, everyone knew our names and our reputation. They called us legends, and somewhere along the line we started to believe it too. We set our sights on Balam Quits. I survived. They didn't. I swore vengeance, but had no idea how to go about pursuing it. Then I met you lot, and thought that maybe with your help, I might just have a fighting chance. 
You see, I never intended to keep it all a secret. It's just... You never asked. And this is I'd rather not talk about it. Easy to live in the moment, you know? Next town, the next job. Weeks flew by and after a time I started having second thoughts. Yo, this dramatic zoom? Oh, this is hurting my head. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate it. 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 I had lots of those close to me before. I didn't want to live through that again. Are we? Are we or are we not comrades? Through thick and thin. These bonds of fellowship between us must come before all else. Otherwise, they may as well not exist. You say the thought of losing us pained you. What of our feelings? What of our loss? What if we had not arrived when we did? You've saved our lives more times than I can count. How dare you refuse Wait, to Wait, yo, is that the default hero of light as that NPC Lamau? I'm gonna pee, I'm gonna poop, and I'm gonna shit. I'm gonna come and I'm gonna piss. <laughs> My Popeyes is here. Alec, thank you for the two, the ten month tier two sub. He is, um, he, he, yeah, he, he kind of is. This is Ardbert. Ardbert is the warrior of darkness slash warrior of light. One of the main like, um, anti protagonist, protagonist kind of of Shadowbringers. Um, and he just looks like Meteor. He looks like the default NPC guy, and it's because he parallels you. Um, so yeah. No, we're not at 59. I'm not crying yet. No evil pepper though. Yo, someone make evil pepper. When is evil peppermint coming into play? What if like, what if that's another ult of mine? Just evil pep. Ego waffles be sm smacking. Wait, Red, are you having egos? That came fast. I know. I'm used to things coming fast. It's okay. A lot of things come. F Never mind. I'm not even. I'm no. She's saving all the tears for N Walker, and look, I'm trying really hard not to cry. But like, you know, if it happens, it happens. I can't help it if I cry. I try not to, and I fail every time. We're talking. We're just talking pancakes, waffles, and toast. Ooh, God, I want waffles. I want waffles. I want waffles. Would Evil Pepper specialize in light magic though since Pepper likes dark magic? Yes. Pepper would be... Pepper is the warrior of light. But is like, at her heart, the warrior of darkness. And then Evil Pepper would be the reverse. They're the warrior of darkness. But actually, they're a white mage. Or a paladin. Oh my god. Evil Pepper is a paladin. Because Pepper is a dark knight. The, hey, look. The paladin could be like, um... Chaotic good. Cry. Cry all you need. Ishikawa-sama is, nour is nourished by her tears and the sound of her sobbing. <laughs> no, you're so right. You're so right. I've sold my fucking soul to her. Oh my god. I forgot about Blue Waffle. The internet was such a different time before. You know?
I remember when everyone would be like, hey, haha, go to meatspin.com. Hey, Google Blue Waffle. Hey, watch this video of a, of a car driving through a valley. What's meat spin? Don't do it. Larry, don't do it. Larry, do not do it. Wait, but I'm curious now. Larry, no. Larry, no. On behalf of Waldo, he also says no. Christian Vegetable Larry? Oh my god, Tomato Larry! Tomato Larry! Hey, Waldo. Are you a good boy? These are for Waldo. Oh. My god, you scared me. Holy shit. Oh my god. That is cursed. Thank you for the bits. I'm sticky now. Oh my god. Listen to this. Mmm. Mmm. You're so good. Okay, hold on. I have to wipe my hands now. I have to wipe my hands because I got sticky icky. Y'all see? <laughs> He's got drool right there. <laughs> Hey, pumpkin. He's so fucking good. Like, he didn't even try going for the food. He just watched me wash my hands instead. And, like, with pleading eyes. He is so fluffy. Should I give him a piece of my chicken chat? Does he deserve, a, like, a little piece of chicken? What do you think? That says you can have some chicken. You want some chicken? You want some chicken? You want some chicken? And yes, I have a horde of nugs. With Garfield protecting them. Alright, Waldo. Are you ready? Okay, let me eat some of it first. I don't want to give you the whole thing. He is so excited. He's so patient. Okay. Ready? Is that a Samuel? It is. 
Waldo is my four-year-old Sammy. He's my baby. Mm-hmm. Waldo's gonna get another little piece, don't worry. Because I love him so much. Good boy. Milk, hello! Hello, hello. How are you? What kind of sauce, out of curiosity? Sweet heat. This shit fucking bangs. That is my favorite. I'm good, how's you? I am alright. We're doing the Shadowbringers rule quest. We're on the... The physical melee one? It's killing me. It's fucking killing me. Oh my god, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Oh my god! Waldo, I would die for you! I would die for you, baby! Oh, look at him! Oh my god. I do not believe that my dog is Take my money, Waldo. Thank you for the 666 bitties! Look at those crazy eyes. Whoa! That boy knows he's loved? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He is so spoiled. He is so spoiled. It's very fucking loud, yeah. That alert is from when I used to play horror games on stream, and y'all would jump scare me. But I haven't played a horror game in a really long time, so... I should fucking disable it. Oh. 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 <laughs> Alien Isolation? Oh my god. I want to replay Alien Isolation so bad. I really want to play that game again. It's so good. Oh, we're taking a break from the from the game chat. Y'all can look at my bahongaroos while I pet my dog. I just love him so much. Oh my god, his tongue is hanging out. Oh my god, chat. Oh. Hi, honey. Oh my god, chat. Chat, look at him. Look at him. Oh my god. I love him. I love my baby. Hi, Papa. Hi, my Papa. Hi, Mama. Oh, you're so handsome. Are oh, you so handsome? He's my baby. He's my little princess. He's my princess. Oh, look at him. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. Oh, I love him. Oh, I love him. I am undeserving. Do we have any Waldo emotes anymore? Oh, did I just poke your eyeball? Do we have any Waldo emotes in the stream still? I know we have them in the server. Dress him in pink for the Barbie movie? God, I wish you could see his face from this angle. Holy fuck, he's looking at me in like... 
adoration. Hold on. Thank you. Oh my baby. Oh my baby. Oh my baby. Oh my bum bum. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love this boy. Oh, I love this boy. I love this boy. I love this boy. You burping? Did you just burp? Yes, I know burpy. Oh, true. We do have those emotes. They're tier three. They're tier two and tier three. Right. See that, Waldo? People gotta pay the good bucks for you. People gotta pay the good bucks for you. Nyanga, nyanga, nyanga. Bum 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 we can get back to the game now. I just stream to see the bestest boy. Yeah, my stinky binky. My goomba below. My shooby. I'm not rich. He just deserves it. Back to the game. Do you want me to cry? You're right, though. I do deserve it. All y'all better upgrade your fucking subs. <laughs> I'm kidding. You saved our lot. Oh, yeah. I already read that. And without those keen, keen ears of yours, I'll never know what bulks Brandon and Neilbert were spring about me behind my back. And ignorance is not bliss, let me tell you. I can't tell if it's the filter or if they're all wearing matching black. <gasps> the sky. The clouds have parted. There's no more rain. This one's worth a fortune, eh? And famous besides. And fame besides. A wager we won't have to pay for our drinks when we get back into town. How are you even gonna lug it back? Oh god, it's another night to remember. Don't worry your pretty head over our fearless leader's questionable constitution. Take pride in the victory, for the small folk will sleep easy once they hear of Balamquit's demise. Until Arbert's drunken snoring wakes them from their slumber. Drunken snoring? Okay, I get big teddy bear vibes from Ardbert. I feel like he's a soft boy with like a warrior build who like is just. I feel like he's like the perfect husband. Ardbert is just husband material. Am I right? Mm hmm He definitely has a cute tummy that I just want to hug. I want to hold him. He's a good listener. I agree. He's a good listener and he's he's compassionate. He's he's empathetic. Maybe I'm an Ardbert fucker. But he's fucking dead too! Bro, I can't win. I cannot win. Pepper cannot get dick even if it was fucking dangling in front of her face. But he lives inside you? God, I wish he did. Yeah, I mean, I guess they're together. <gasps> Ponto! What's up, Ponto? How you doing? What about Red, though? Who's that? I don't know. In your reflection. Oh my god. Sumi. Are you quoting The Lion King 2? He lives in you. He lives in me. 
in your reflection and everything you see good shit good fucking shit he tossed me a salad already yeah like a fucking salad Sorry, I got thirsty thinking about Ardbert and Red and Orshafon and everyone else that's dead. Okay, Red's name rhymes with dead, so like, is he gonna die too? Because canonically, everyone that, like, every guy, every male that Pepper, like, simps for, dies. So, at least the twins are okay? True, that's what matters. Pepper would rather let the loves of her life of her life die then let her kids die mom core mom core she got that single mom energy just don't sip amen amen simping in this economy? I don't think so. She's cursed? Yeah! Fell in love with Orshifan. Fell in love with Emmett. And they both died. She's cursed. <clears throat> you gotta date Estrella to find out if it's the men that's a problem or the white hair that's a problem. True. True. Here, do you want a piece of my bread? I mean, look. I simp for Emmett, but I don't think Pepper simps for Emmett. If Emmett had white hair, then maybe, maybe she would simp for him. But his hair has too much brown in it. Why do you have to curse you still to die? True, we could have picked any other white-haired person. He got those skunk stripes. Not the skunk stripes. Yeah, no wonder he stinks. He's a fucking skunk. And on that note, I think it's time we quit this place and run to Ray. I trust that the next time you decide to hunt deadly game, you'll do us the courtesy of extending an invitation and there I thought I was doing you a favor by keeping you out of my personal affairs selfish as it was oh fine if you go and die on me I'll pay a necromancer to raise you from the dead so I can kill you out of spite oh she's so hot oh she's so hot agreed now then mind cutting off whatever it is you need to take back let's prove of the kill I don't want to lose our reward on a technicality It dropped a crystal! Okay, wait, so I'm still... not understanding... Strawberry milk. Strawberry milk. I'm still not understanding how these- how they're all getting these crystals. Where do they fucking come from? Is it because they're taking down, like, these big beasts? Because Lamet took down a beast. Brandon took down a beast. Like, they're all, like, I, I don't know. I don't get it. I think with Brandon's, though, was the princess or, like, was the girl trapped in the crystal? Like, the crystal had some other meaning, right? I don't really, I don't know. They look like the same crystal I'm getting in 2.0. Yeah! Like, whenever you defeat a primal? This is what I'm saying. I don't know if this is like an Endwalker spoiler or something, though. Or if this was something that's, like, been explained. 
Is it like the same thing? Does no one have an answer? Is it spoiler related? No one can help me? Is there a multiverse? Well, if you're watching the stream, yes. Basically, yes. This is a strawberry milk question, yes? Yes. Yeah. This is strawberry milk time. Pepper is humbly requesting some strawberry milk. But if it's if it's a spoiler, I don't want to know. Those crystals are rewarded for doing good deeds from Hydaelyn. Oh, so it is just like when Pepper gets the when Pepper defeats like the primals and stuff. I get the Fairlife strawberry protein drinks. I get the Ensure strawberry uh, protein shakes. Those bang. And how you got one each time you slay a primal? Okay, so it is literally like the same thing. Okay, okay, cool. Holding on to it as a memento. So all the warriors of light get crystals from Hydaelyn. Yes, hi, hello! Wake up, damn you! Hello? Yes, hi. What's wrong with you, huh? The second time your so-called gift has cost us the chance of slaying Andrea. You know, you know what? I've had enough. Oh my god, bro. Enough, I say. Yes, I don't need your help. I'm perfectly capable of hunting the Sin Eater on my own. Nah, girl. The power of friendship. It's past time I told you piss off. Yo. Is it time? Is it time? That Pepper's... Pepper's angst pops out? For Angie? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Upon our return to Gate Town, you'll be given your final payment and we'll be free to go our separate ways. Damn! All because I had a little migraine? Okay. This kid is so dramatic. He seems very young. But the way that he talks to me, the way that he still goes to his parents to seek out like funds and approval. He's gotta be like a late teen or something, right? So we gotta go this way. I don't know if it's ever firmly established in Amazing Quest or Major Side Quest beyond what you know. Yeah, effectively proof proves that these warriors of light went through a trial of some sorts. Okay, cool. I like that. I actually really like that. And it's 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 interesting that like yeah, all the warriors of light get these gifts from Hydaelyn. I like it. I like it. I still, like, I need a fucking recap on the Asian lore. Um, cause like, I still just think about how Hydaelyn and Zodiac were like primals. And like, I don't have to, like, I, I'm gonna have to fuck them up somehow. Like, I'm gonna have to fight them, I fear. And I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm. I, I desperately need to like do a really quick recap of Shadowbringers and I think I'll do that tomorrow before stream or even like during stream. Cause like, man. I feel like I don't remember anything from Shadowbringers apart from it being draining. What is it? Did something happen between you two? Oh, spoke to the wrong person. Honestly, I don't know why I ever placed my faith in you. You are such a disappointment. Hm. What the fuck? Consider this the formal dis dissolution of a partnership. Let none ever again speak the names Reek and Pepper in the same breath. Yes, never again. And with that, I bid you good day. Bro. When he was little, Reek's parents punished him for a time by withholding his allowance. The money to lavish on his friends, he soon found that many were only drawn in by his wealth. Aww. Relatable. 
I dare say he feared you would abandon him as they did and decided to push you away first. Man, he just like me for real. I'm not trying to make excuses for what he did. I can only hope you find it in your heart to forgive him. Take some time to think it over. Then come and see me. Oh, and take this for your troubles. Thank you. 78. Ovara cannot help but worry for Lou Reek's well-being. I'm sure a talented woman like yourself is needed all over this realm, and so I thank you for sparing a moment to hear me out. Since you two parted ways, Reek has come to visit me several times. Though he's blessedly in good health, I worry for his spirits. I think you may have been the only friend he has had for some time. Oh no! I consider journeying to the Crystaria myself to look, in on, to look in on him, but I find travel rather difficult these days. If you'd go in my stead, it would put my heart at ease. I got you, Granny! I mean, Pepper doesn't reek. Listen. Pepper can be a little bit stinky as a treat, okay? Good night, Ramen. Take care. Thank you for hanging out. It was great meeting you. See you next time. My fave from that series is through his eyes, which is about Emmett Selk. Wait, what's that? What is that? I don't know, I don't know what that is, Sarn. Also, are you... Are you Sarni Churo, by the way? Sarni Churo from Gilgamesh added me. And you're the only Sarn I know from Gilgamesh. Yes? Okay. Okay. I just, I wanted to make sure before I accepted. Let me log on, bro. My brother in Christ, you need to see him? Is it a Lollafell? Okay. Oh. Oh. What are these two doing here? What's happening here? What are these two stinkies doing? Oh. Oh! <gasps> oh my god! sweet boy look at this little family damn I didn't I didn't know that that Miko's grew that quickly wow what a big boy look at our strapping our strapping young lad and he's wearing white and red I cannot he still got the same hair His hair isn't red and black. Yeah, I don't know where the white came from. Larry, where's the white from? Is it like, is it from the bit of light that was like stuck in Pepper during Shadowbringers? Did that come, like, was that in her, in her, in her, her eggs? <laughs> Wait, but I didn't give birth to you, you're adopted. Why do you have pink hair? Why do you look like us? He went to Limsa on spring break. <gasps> Larry, you're too young to go to Limsa Limsa. Oh, it grew with puberty, he says. Wow. I'm learning so much. I'm learning so much. Okay, wait. Larry, are you adopted or did I give birth to you? What is the lore? What is the lore here? I need to know. Because then, then I need to figure out when the fuck Pepper met Red. Yeah, I don't know either, bestie. Canonically, when do Pepper and Red meet? And when do they have the time to fornicate and create you? Oh my god, and he's got Pepper's fork! Wait, that's not my fork, I'm not a dragoon, wait! Wait, forky, forky, fork. 
fork! Fork gang! Look at us! Some real acidic cum dyed his hair white. Hey, Pepper's been there. I don't know if I'd call it cum. I mean, Pepper does show up in Eorzea with amnesia. Rue. The family has Moogle whips? Yeah, as we should. As we fucking should. Wait, does Pepper meet... Does Pepper meet Re Red in A Realm Reborn? I didn't even fucking know him during A Realm Reborn. Conceived by pure thought. <laughs> That's how powerful red sperm is. He just looks at you and like takes off his glasses and then you get impregnated. Why do you think he has to keep the sunglasses on? <laughs> I fucking hate this conversation. Maybe she met him in the first. Maybe. Maybe. When has Pepper had a pure thought in her life? I think Pepper is pretty pure. I think Pepper's a good girl. Wait, where's my bow? Is it off again? Yeah, I like to think that Pepper's a good girl. She's not like me. I'm the one that's down horrendous. Pepper is not. Pepper is just a brooding sad girl. That's all. Oh, is that Sarnix? Oh, he's a bunny boy. Or is he a- yeah, he's a little bunny boy. What's up? What's up, bro? When did you make a fucking ult? And where's your tail? All I see is bussy. I don't see no tail. You take the gear set so it doesn't disappear. Why is Pepper brooding sad girl? Because all the men that she loved died. Ever since Heaven's Word, Pepper, like, Pepper went from being a super PMA, super cutesy, cutesy, super happy, super let's go team girl to the mid events of Heaven's Word where she became super sad, super depressed, um, and angsty. And then she got even sadder and sadder and sadder. And then during like Stormblood, I would say that she went through like a Sybil phase where she was like, I guess like she would disassociate because I don't remember anything from Stormblood. I didn't like it. So Pepper was just like numb. And then maybe Alize helped bring some life back into her. Cause then Pepper had a reason to keep going, to keep like fighting. She had someone to care for again. And someone to look after and someone to protect. And that's when Pepper's like bodyguard, like instincts came in, you know? Um, and then Shadowbringers happened and that fucked her up. The storyline for Shadowbringers is fucking sad. So yeah. Oh yeah, I was pretending to be mad at Red because he tried to include me in the surprise, but I don't have Crystarium unlocked. Wow, what a fucking asshole. Red, you literally- you know that she just fucking got to Stormblood. What is wrong with you, bro? How do you feel about Emmet and Ardbert and, uh, da da da? Well, I have completely normal feelings about Emmet. I think he's a rat. Um... I think his, his character is really good. I think he's a great villain. I think his, his character, like from what- I Larry! Okay, you were naked for a second. I think, I think that, I think that Emmett's a really good villain. I think that he had a great storyline. Um, He's very well written and he's hot. Did the Pepper multi class after meeting Alize then since it's a tank class? No, <laughs> I'm still figuring it out, but I think what I want to do is have it so like, it, like, after the events of the vault, Pepper was so overcome by grief that she started, like, hearing voices and stuff. And that's when she slowly started picking up the Dark Knight class. Um, and I think she started taking it seriously after, like, after getting really close with Alize. 
you know? I think that's what I have going for her. I think because of Orshafop, like, by the end of Heaven's Ward, that's when Pepper, like, begins mastering the class. Because it's like, she never... Like, she doesn't use a shield, she just has a big, like, uh, greatsword, like a claymore. But she refuses to let anyone, like, get in front of her and, like, take a bullet for her. Literally, you know? Kind of thing. What does Pepper think of them? I don't- I don't know yet. I think Pepper wishes she knew Ardbert better. I think Pepper wishes she lived in a time where she could have gotten to know him. Maybe she feels like they could have been good um, companions. And she wants to make him proud. You know? Um, but Emmett? I don't- I don't really know how Pepper feels about Emmett. I think she thinks he's annoying and she finds it endearing. I really want to replay Shadowbringers so I could, like, write a fic- like, write a little bit about the two of them. Like, a one-shot. Cause, like... I wanna- I wanna say there's a part, like, I don't remember when it was. I think it's when, like, he starts telling us, like, the history of Amarat. Um, there's a bit where I'm, like, I feel like I could picture, like, a, like a really neat turning point in both of their characters where she, like, she does something really stupid and he does the whole, like, oh, I can't have you dying yet shit. But it, like, slips. Oh! Do remember? Remember? Oh my god, what was that fucking thing that I wrote? The oh my god. There was- I have it in my notes, hold on. There was something that I wrote. And I'm- I'm starting to think that I'm- I- it's gonna be like Pepper and Emmett. Hold on. He, this is just me blocking it out, okay? Uh, Pepper sits out in the Crystarium. Her hair is patchy, brooding in bed. Patchy, as in like black and white, because the light was like bleaching her hair and her like what everything. Um, here's a knock at the door, but ignores it. Door opens anyways. Mug appears on the night table beside her. The smell of cocoa alerts her, and she turns to see the door closing as someone leaves. And it happens again and again and again. Every night for a week, someone has been leaving hot chocolate in her chamber. Finally, she catches them. Um, and then there's like a blurb of like Emmett or someone, I think I'm gonna make it Emmett, being like, you're a red mage, Alize, said it would cheer you up. Um, it appears I'm the only one brave enough to interrupt your brooding. Don't read into it. Something like that. And I think like that might be like the little turning point with Pepper where she's like, maybe this guy ain't so bad, but then things get worse and she's like, God oh, fucking damn it. That would be very Emmett, right? It's like, look, I'm doing something nice. I'm doing something sweet. I don't want you to know it's me, but you found out that it's me, so fucking whatever. Or Graha, no. Graha would be like, I made you hot chocolate. This is for you. This is for you. Feel better. I love you. Like, no. <laughs> or are you asking how she would feel about Graha? I think Pepper views Graha like a little brother. No, I think Pepper... Pepper views Graha the way that she views Orshifa. With a lot of love. But Pepper is so... Traumatized. That she... What's the word I'm looking for? She has a lot of, like, intim intimacy issues. So I feel like she would refuse to like get attached to him because she's scared of losing him. And that's why she fights so hard to make sure that he never sacrifices himself for her and all that shit. Because she can't lose someone like that again. She can't go through that again. She refuses to let that happen. You know? <laughs> he isn't a Sundar, he's a simp. A Sundar, he's a simp. Pepper reviews Graha as a brother but wants to know if his dick will glow <laughs> through, through the pussy. Look! Listen, she's valid for wanting to know that. Look what I DM'd you. You could read this through his eyes, store it on stream. It's super sharp, it's super good. Mm, I'll check it later. Thank you, though. Loon, how are you, Bean? Oh my god, Loon, when are you playing FF with me? 
When are you gonna be a cat girl with me? Yeah, Pepper can have a few intrusive thoughts as a treat. <laughs> I'd like to think that like after that moment too, maybe Pepper has like a lot of like here and there moments with Emmett, but they're not like actively romantic. Which is kind of similar to her stuff with Orshifon. Because I had canon that her and Orshifon have never fucked. They, the most they've done is like hug. It's like a very like longing for one another kind of thing. And then like the night before the vault, maybe like they're going over like battle plans or something together. Some shit happens. I don't know. They share their first kiss. And like, Pepper, I want it to be like, Pepper had the choice between like, going back with him at Camp Dragonhead, or like, staying in an inn, or like, staying in Fortaunt Manor. And whatever the choice was, it was the choice that made them like, not spend the night together. <laughs> and then he fucking dies the next day. And all they got was a kiss. All they got was a kiss. A slow burn where the ostrich disappears off the face of the planet and never a basic ever again. That's what Orish found was literally yes. I don't know about FF, I'm pretty hyped for Diablo 4. I have never played Diablo. What, t tell me about it. Would it intrigue me? Would I get addicted? Diablo is the one that like just released like the trailer or whatever with Lilith, right? Like Diablo is Blizzard, right? My friend um uh, modeled for or did some modeling for Lilith, like with Blizzard. So hot. Stop making me cry over Pepper Lore and trying to get this seed to dub. I'm sorry, bestie. Do you mean a human model? Human model. Let me see if I can find pics. You might like it? Maybe I'll check it out. I'm not a Blizzard gal. I'm anti Blizzard, but if Diablo's free, maybe I'll check it out. Oh my god, I'm blanking on her name. Oh, there it is. That's a photo of it, but it's not a, like a good enough photo. Let me see. Oh, here, this one will do. Y'all see this? She looked fucking amazing. This girl, she's like six foot, like three or six foot two or something. She's so tall, she's so structured, she's beautiful. Look at this. Look at my dry, crusty finger. I got fucking biscuits in my fingernails. I gotta moisturize. But yeah! She's fucking gorgeous! Okay. Oh. Did he- did our son die? Oh well, good riddance. Okay. Alright, let's get back to this. It's almost 3 a.m. Holy shit, chat. <sighs> Lou Reek's customary seat is empty and there's nothing to suggest he- has occupied it recently. Perhaps someone will have noted his passing. Oh my god, chat. I'm so fucking tired, bro. 
<laughs> Looking for Master Reek, are we? <laughs> I dare say you're the only one. Where does Mummy and Daddy cut him off? There's no point pretending to, to like the little shite anymore. Last I saw him, he was moving about like someone had shot his Amaro. She'll turn up eventually. Well, that's not fucking nice. Oh, hey! That's the guy that- yeah. Yeah, I remember you. Pelusia, right? You're Lou Ring's partner. I was with Lambert, remember? Was- was, I ought to stress. Because after we left you, we headed straight to Raktika. We heard a rumor Andrea was there and Lambert wanted to strike while the iron was hot. So I realized we were overmatched, it was too late. I saw Lambert fall, and when the eater set her sights on the others, I fled. Oh shit! That cuck died?! He fucking died?! Yo, let's go! Call me a coward if you like, but my coward to save my life. Fucking white. I still remember looking back as I ran and seeing Lan Lambert rise to his feet. Tells everyone what had happened to warn them off the hunt. Some listened, but a few bloody fools took up their weapons and joined the hunt. Glory, hungry imbeciles. Not a one of them has returned. Didn't expect Lou Reek to be one of them, neither. I remember thinking it odd, especially when I saw him leave for Arctica alone. You're meeting him there, I presume? Good luck, friend. But I have no doubt that you're going to your doom. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I know where he is now. Why do I still have to question people? Alright, let's go over here. Are wrapping up side quests for Endwalker? Yeah, I'm doing uh, I'm doing some rule quests. I'll be doing as many side quests as I can, even, like, at the beginning of Endwalker. Um, like, I'm not gonna do every MSQ mission, like, every day. I'm gonna space it out. So, we'll do, like, MSQ, we'll do side quests, bounce around, you know? Lurik, the Missile Lordling? Being sat at his usual table, then I have no idea where else to look. Yeah, well, I fucking know where he is. Yeah, in Raktika, I know- Oh my god. We're finally almost done this, though. We're on the level 78 quest, which means we have one more after this, which I guess will be fighting Andrea. If we didn't get so caught up with talking about <laughs> spicy penis, maybe I would have finished this quicker. I think I don't know what role quests are. So the role quests in Shadowbringers are quests based off of the Warriors of Light. Um, and they're locked to different jobs. And so they're just called the role quests, apparently. That story was hilarious. I'm glad. I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. Because he didn't. <laughs> and neither did I. But it's a good story. I have no shame. I have no fucking shame. Oh yeah, chat, how is the audio doing? I have it... Oh. I have it set to this. But I feel like it's... Like, some of it's overpowering. Audio's been good? Okay. What is the story about spicy penis? Is it when someone dipped their bit into sauce? No. No. I'll save- I'll, I'll retell the story another day. Unless someone in chat wants to recap. <laughs> but I gotta speak to this little man over here, unfortunately. He is not looking so hot. What happened? What happened, Reek? It's just me. Hey. Pepper? Why are you here? Don't tell me you came for me. Yeah, I did. You okay? It's terrible. It's horrible. Andrea, she's... She's... Oh. Well. I'm about to find out. I'm about to find out. Render Ray, if all of you remains, then hearken to my words. You know what? I am so proud of myself for coming up with the headcanon that Pepper's hair got whiter with each bit of with each light warden that she took down. Because these guys are, like, just imbued with light and 
their hair has all been white. They have been, like, bleached. Good job. Good job. Maybe that's where my white came from? Well, that's what we were saying. That's what we were saying. It's like, maybe, like, during, like, if, if Pepper gave birth to Larry during her pregnancy, there was still some light left in her, in her, in her goods. But does this mean... But does this mean Pepper has given birth? <laughs> when you told me about it, I remember being like, holy shit, that's fire. I'm a fucking genius, bro. I'm a- look, listen. I- I know things. I'm- I'm a genius. This is why I write fanfic. I may be very slow with my writing, but when the brain brains, it brains. It- my Brian- my Brian cells? Put in work. I have come to lay your soul to rest. Alone, as you yourself face Balam quits a century ago on this very ground. She was not alone. She was not. Oh shit! Landbird? Oh gods, no. <laughs> oh fuck. She's summoning homies. Oh my god, she's summoning other people who looked like her friends. Nah. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Nah. Nah, I fucking hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I'm not playing this game anymore. Don't tell me. You beheld a vision of my past just now, didn't you? I did. And I'm fucking crying. I'm fucking crying in the club now. I I thought as much. It wasn't but a moment ago that I confronted them. Awfully useful, that trick of yours. But I can't understand why you kept using it every time we ran into Andrea. I don't... Yeah, I can't control when it happens. That's why I didn't like it when you fucking snapped at me! Huh? So it wasn't something you did deliberately? Good to know. Yeah! Anyway, unintentional or not, at least I won't have to con convince you of what I saw. She's turned Landbird and those other hunters into Sin Eaters like herself. A human axeman, a Galgen swordsman, a dwarven healer, an elven mage. <sighs> Looked awfully familiar, didn't it? Yep! Yeah. She's rebuilding her fellowship! She's remaking the Warriors of Light! Oh no! Fucking hurts, bro. But for the life of me, I can't understand why. I mean, I understand why she came here in the first place. She's reliving the hunt for Balam Quits. But Brenda Ray slew the beast herself. The stories were clear about that. Mm mm. What? They were there too? And the stories were wrong? Embellished. God, strike me down. Been such a fool. Why did I ever think I could do this alone? I... I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me for all the things I said, Pepper. Yeah, don't worry, Bibes. I've regretted my behavior ever since the day we parted ways. It was stupid and nonsensical and utterly pointless. I'm not sure I could even tell you why I did what I did. It's fine. Water under the bridge. Yes, Captain Pepper. Don't worry. I got trauma too, baby. I do the same thing. Thank you, my friend. I hope it is alright if I call you that. Yeah. Don't worry, little bro. You're good. Right then. Andrea should be around here somewhere. Still on the hunt for Balmain Quits, I expect. Not that she'll ever find it. No doubt Landbird and the others are with her too. He and I may have had our differences, but I'd not wish that fate on my worst enemy. He deserves to be laid to rest. They all do. Brenda Ray most of all. She was... 
She is my hero. And if I have to kill her to save her soul, then so be it. But this is too much for even the best hunter to handle alone. And I am far from the best. The only way to see this through is together. You and me, my friend. What say you? Hell yeah! Ha! Yes, for word, you give me a nod. Fair enough. Okay, immersion shattering moment. Before we resume the hunt in earnest, though, let us return to Gate Town and let Miss Alvara know it all as well. After all, you wouldn't have come unless she sent you. What if she's dead? Do you think they killed her? Why am I scared? Why am I fucking scared? Ah, uh, something's gonna happen to her. Something is gonna fucking happen to her. And it's gonna- it's gonna enrage the little dude. Nah. I know this game. I know Sh Shadowbringers. Wait, what is his name? Tatcha May? I like that. Oh my god, what if I made- What if I made a- An alt? And they were like, matcha latte or something. Actually, no, I did try making matcha latte. I remember now. I remember when I was making peppermint. Matcha latte was one of the names that I tried, I'm pretty sure, and it didn't work. I tried green tea as well, but peppermint worked. This character growth giving me whiplash? Oh, who, uh, Reek's character growth? He's a little dude. I honestly, I had canon that he's like 19 years old or some shit. I took matcha latte, you bastard. God fucking damn it, Larry. God fucking damn it. Hey, she's alive. Pepper, what a pleasure to see you again. And in the company of the Larique, no less. Am I right in assuming you've patched things up? I should like to think so, yes. And it's all thanks to you. Had you not implored her to give me another chance, I might well still be sitting alone in the swamps, dwelling on my myriad feelings. And you, my friend, I know not why you saw her out on your own, but I am glad that you did. Miss Alvara is perhaps the only person who truly cares for my well-being, but she has no one to look after her. Don't be silly, Reek. I have you, don't I? Before you start blabbering about how you wish you could properly reward Pepper, as I can tell you're about to, know that I've prepared a hearty meal just for her. <gasps> oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Nevertheless, I shall see you both duly compensated once we acclaim the bounty for Andrea. And claim it we shall, for united, Reek and Pepper are unstoppable. That's what I would like to say, but I know my own limitations better than anyone. It would be prudent to make proper preparations at this juncture. You too should see to it that you are ready for the struggle ahead. It will be a mighty one indeed, but one well worth the effort, my friend. I'm ready. Risotto! Thank you, babes. Alright! Here we go! Last one! Lou Reek wishes to confront an uncomfortable truth. I had this idea once for a lol for a lawful astrologian call I'd call Kesara Sara. <gasps> Okay, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be. But it turns out I actually really hate playing Astro, so it didn't go anywhere. Astro's a lot of fun. I actually really like playing Astro. I'll do it on your behalf. Hold on. Did I not take off the peel? I did not. There's still a peel left that needs to be taken off this little guy. Let me do that right now. That's gonna bother me. Oh, it's not coming off properly. It's coming off really patchy. Never mind, I'll do it later then. Alright, let's get into it. Let's see what's happening. Pepper, my friend, my partner. I trust you already. Good, good. That's very good indeed. For before we depart to face Andrea for what I praise the final time, I have a confession to make. I... I may have been somewhat misleading when I intimidated the tremendousness of my martial prowess. In truth, it rather pales in comparison to yours. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I gather you are not unaware of this. Surely you are as perceptive as you are mighty. In my defense, I must say that when I realized what an exceedingly powerful warrior you truly are, I was dumbstruck. 
I struggle to conceive of how even to broach the subject. Furthermore, I must admit the great majority, nay, all of our efforts to own our skills in preparation for the battle to come, have been entirely for my benefit. The disparity between us might not be so readily apparent. I think that my insecurity drove me to postpone this fatal day for so long. My cowardice, I allowed Andrea to assemble a party of followers. For before we might have only con to contend with the one foe, we must now confront five. And for all my preparation, I am still no more like likely to be an asset to you than a hindrance. But perhaps that need not be the case. In discussing the grim reality with Miss Alvara while you were away, we hit upon a potential stratagem. Recall you run to Ray's greatest strength and weakness. Her pre her preternatural hearing? Did I say that right? Preternatural? Preternatural? Your stream times are not nice for European time zones, and I'm happy there's some overlap. I know! I know! I've been trying really hard to adjust my stream schedule, but I'm so- I'm so fucking bad. I'm so bad with it. I really want to start streaming early so my Euro viewers can- can tune in. I'm so sorry! We can be reasonably certain that Andreas possesses it as well. Therefore, if you were to fashion a device that could produce a loud noise at will, you could use it to secure an advantage in your battle. What I lack in strength of arms, I may make up for with, with guile. Guile? While it will not grant a, guarantee us victory, it will surely bring us one step closer. Ayo? A thousand pardons, Master Rick, but I am come to deliver a message from your lord father. Daddy? What does he want with me now? It has come to your lord father's attention that you have acquitted yourself rather poorly as a bounty hunter and have brought terrible shame upon your family name. He commands you to seize all such activities at once and turn to the city forthwith. What the fuck? Should you fail to do so, you will be stripped of your citizenship and family name. No further financial assistance will be provided. Oh my god. Oh. Oh dear. This is fucking awful. Oh, you may tell my father and my mother the following, that I am Lou Reek, proud bounty hunter, slayer of sin eaters, that I have no intention of renouncing this cause, and that they are free to do as they, see, as they deem fit. King. King. Tell them. Thank you, by the way, for the posture check. Tell them that if they have no son, that I have no parents, that I have no family save Miss Elvara, who has shown me more love than they ever have. Oh my god. Very good, Master Reek. I should deliver your reply to them at once. And he fucking bows. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Chat, I'm so tired. I am so tired, chat. And you know what the worst part is? I don't even want to go to bed. I want to hop on my alt. <laughs> I want to hop on my new alt and I want to play so bad. But like, I'm like fighting. I'm fighting to stay awake right now. I know I got a big day tomorrow in literally, in like 15, 15 ish hours, we're gonna be starting Endwalker. Can you fucking believe that? <laughs> Who you make? Do I, do we do? this mission before we start Endwalker tomorrow and I show y'all my new alt <laughs> oh yeah we're fucking going ham tomorrow wait what happened I didn't mean to I didn't mean to pit X I dare say you lit a fire in him pepper I thought I'd see the day where he'd muscle the curse at anything like that to his parents yeah I got you vibes we won the last one but I'm so tired but I'm so tired. Okay. What's the alt for? It's just to play through the story again. I know I could do a new game plus, but... <laughs> Fuck it, we ball. So we're going into the Crystaria? Let me go to a bed. Let me see what he said. What? So you get to work crafting that giant noisemaker. Oh, okay. So he wanted to meet to discuss making the noisemaker. Okay. Wait, am I supposed to go into this area? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm dumb. I see it right there. Would you like to suffer? Yes, exactly. 
Boo, my friend, for being born on Sarah and Walker Day. Hey, tell them that they should have been born a different day. Or not at all. It's like a brand new alt. It is. It is a brand new alt. I have a new child that I'm like actually gonna play. <laughs> I have a bunch that I wanna that I wanna like burn through. We have Shah Rukh Khan, we have Pedro P -P Pascal, we have Mini Orchifon, we have Orchifon Tombstone, we have Forbidden Milk, and now we have Marshmallow. <laughs> we got little marshmallow vibes. All right, I can't mount here. Yeah, Pedro P -P Pascal is pretty good. Ever consider making an alt in a Euro DC so you can attend parties and community events over there? I actually do have one. I have a peppermint on Phantom. Wait, what happened to Wind Up Pepper? Oh, she's here. But I story skipped her to Endwalker, so like I can't really play her until I get through Endwalker on this peppermint. I'm excited for the Eorzean spy universe, oh no! I know, I have so many fucking alts. I have so many. I honestly, I'm so tired, chat. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like read another cutscene. Cause none of this is voice acted. Like I'm dying. Oh my God, where am I going? Down here, okay. I hope you enjoyed watching me go through puberty. Larry, I did. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. What's up? <laughs> Almost dumb toe. <laughs> I would say that fucking woke me up. But I yawned immediately after, bro. Yo, Red, do you want to read these cutscenes for me? <laughs> do you want to read these cutscenes, bro? Oh, hi, Waldo. If you're too tired, you don't have to. You can say no. I'm slipping too, not gonna lie, but it's been a lovely time. Yeah. It has been really good. I know, we're on the last one. We're so close, but I'm fucking dying. I'm setting up chocolate before bed. Oh, like chocolate's, um... Hot bars? Yeah. I need to fucking do that. Did you do all the other roll quests? I did two. I did the tank one months ago. And I did the healer one a couple days ago. Looking at my imaginary sleeves. Or watches. <laughs> God, I'm so tired, I can't even be fucking funny. Bro, pick up your phone. Hello? 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 I was waiting. I waited almost a minute. I'm so sorry. You should be. You absolutely should be. Oh no, I am so sorry. I, I don't think I'm I just could setting ever up hot chocolate you. for uh, ever, for success. For success, uh, for I success. need to I need to do marshmallows, fucking hot bar. You know what? While while we're on the subject, I'm gonna quickly I'm gonna quickly grab a screen. Actually, I'm just gonna open them on stream because then I can clip it. All right. Do
<laughs> okay, there we go. You can copy a file? Look, listen. Listen. It's fine. It's too late. I already... I, I We already... Love the new UI sound effects. Thank you, thank you. It's a good one. Not hot chocolate and marshmallow. You too, I swear. I know we're cringe. We're fucking cringe. But they're so cute. They're so cute. Wait, can I log out really quickly and show y'all marshmallow? Hold on. She's so yeah. cute. <laughs> She's so cute. I'm going to the FC house right after. As what? Hot chocolate? Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess technically we can. Look at her! Mm -hmm. Look at her! She's so cute! She. Wow, players in queue. One. I wonder, is it you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, don't fucking kill me, bro. It's so funny. It's so funny. Oh, God. It's still not letting me log in. Same. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> I swear to God, if you don't log back onto Pepper and finish that quest, no, I will. Now that Red's in voice chat, he has to read for me because I'm yawning like fucking crazy. She looks like Forbidden Milk somewhat. Yeah, Forbidden Milk is like way more white. And well, Forbidden Milk is literally just like Shadowbringer's Pepper. God, my HUD is so bad. I'm using your money to TP me. <laughs> oh wait, I can finally check just, my mail. Just, yeah, just get your mail. <laughs> Here's the setting slip. Thank you, Kay. I'll check it after. We can't. Yeah, no one can post uh, links in chat unless they're a mod. But I appreciate it. Wait, where the fuck are you? Uh, it puts me in an N. Mm. Yeah, what's up? Look, this is Marshmallow. We have Marshmallow and Hot Chocolate. And... And we story skipped a Realm Reborn. So we could... So we could go through Heaven Sword again. And just the rest of the, uh, the MSQ. <laughs> Look, we're fucking cringe! Look! It's so bad. Is so she a sister? So yeah, Marshmallow is his sister. Yeah. Can't carry any more campaign or mogs. Oh, shit. I'm capped. My bad. My bad. Wait, they're giving me so much more money than usual. Or am I crazy? No, I think that's a normal amount. It's usually ton. I just got 50 and 30. Oh no, it's probably the uh, the lower ones, not like the platinum or whatever that they usually get. <sighs> let me just let me just accept. Oh, what is happening? What is happening? Damn, I guess you really are hot chocolate, huh? What the fuck? Okay, what is going on? Is that you? Was that you doing mm -hmm. that? Damn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, hop off. But anyway, I'm gonna go back to Pepper now. Roasted marshmallow? No! You roasted me! Oh my god, I should just have her lay dead in the fire. So she's roasted. Roasty toasty baby. <gasps> I've never seen this loading screen before, or maybe I haven't. I'm just dumb. It's so pretty. You have. Why are they red? Shouldn't they be purple? This art is not correct. All right, bestie, you ready to do some reading? Do you want me to Absolutely share in Discord, not. or are you cool with, with just Twitch? Twitch is fine. It's just going to be delayed. All righty. I can do this bit. I'll do a little bit. Hmm? What's all this then? You got something that needs to make? No, I'm. you're doing it. It is. Indeed I do, good sir. I wish to commission the production of a device that can generate a tremendously loud sound. It must be small and light enough to be carried by a single individual as well. Oh, 
they're trying to make me. Small, light, light enough to be carried by a single individual, and tremendously loud. I don't have retainers in here. Ain't that one of the stranger requests I've heard? Well, if it's just noise you want, then I'd wager we could make do with the I can't read, I'm tired too. You got this. <laughs> you got this. Oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Then I'd wager we can make do with a special blend of fire sound. I think I've got just the recipe for your needs. I'll need some choice ingredients, mind. And you'll need to go f and you'll need to go and fetch them for me. Nah, get Kelsey in here. I'm too tired. You know what? I I commend your attempt. And it was so bad that it actually woke me up. Thank God. And then you can read. Yeah. Also, what is happening over here? Is this man trying to pick up a box? Because in the corner of my eye, I thought homeboy was just fucking twerking. Y'all see this? All right, Red. Thank you so much. I'm Your never doing this again. Will not go in vain. I promise. Goodbye. Goodbye. He's so useless. I don't know why I keep him around. I don't know why I bother. Fetch. <clears throat> what precisely is that? Is it that you require? Well, there's this one particular beastie native to Calusia. What's got a singular delight diet and leaves these massive dung piles. The fresher, the better, if it please. A few varieties of grasses native to Rectica. Oh, and some iron ore from a meringue. I can give you a list if you like. To wit, I'll, ne I'll need to travel to the far corners of Norvan and back. Oh dear, this is more, rather more involved than I. Oh my god, I cannot do this. I will do whatever must needs be done to see this through to the end. My friend, I will not impose these tasks upon you. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank fucking god. Oh my god, they're not making me do a fetch quest. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. My friend, I will not impose these tasks upon you. I insist that you remain here while I go and fetch the required materials. Oh my fucking god. Wait for him to return? Oh, I absolutely fucking will wait. Holy shit. I love how the writers occasionally poke fun on the endless fetch quest thing. I know it doesn't get old. They definitely have learned their ways and now just mock it. <laughs> oh, Pars is on. Pepper. Look at my cutie. It was a series of surprisingly harrowing experiences, but in the end, I managed to obtain the materials necessary for the construction of my secret weapon. The gentleman was rather accommodating, despite being somewhat put out, though I had not any guild to pay him for his labor. He was nevertheless willing to teach me how to craft the arrows myself. He said he found my industrious industriousness endearing. I must confess, despite being utterly exhausted by all this busy work, it has been somewhat refreshing. And now that my noisemaker arrows are ready, I cannot wait to put them to, to the proof. If all goes to plan, the explosion should be loud enough to incapacitate Andrea for a time. Let us put an end to her tale, my friend. And in so doing, write the opening of ours, that of Reek and Pepper, bounty hunters extraordinaire. Come, Fractica and glory await. 
I'm trying to like move stuff on my desk, but like I'm failing. Okay. Here we go. Chat. Chat, I'm so tired. Chat, I'm so tired. I better get fucking head pats at the end of this. Oh man. I'm so sleepy. And you know what the worst part is? I just know, I just know damn fucking well that once I hop off and I take off my makeup and everything, I'm gonna be wide awake. I'm also tired. Good night, sorry. Good night, Loon! Thank you for popping in. I hope you have good sleepies. I miss you. Take care, Bean. So many head pats away. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Chat, are you excited for our new emotes? We got an update a couple days ago, and they are looking very cute. They are looking very, 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 very cute. We're gonna be getting rid of all the emotes that we have right now. Like all the Sire emotes and swapping them. This is gonna be a huge, like, revamp. I'm very excited. I don't know when I'm gonna get the uh, the final pieces. Probably in like a week or two. Because this artist, she's very good, but she takes her time. And honestly, as she should. Um. So yeah. All of the emotes that are of like human me will be swapped no 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 gengar will stay the waldo ones will stay but any of the ones that are of me will be gone i promise y'all are gonna like them if i may make one small request before we begin please for the love of the gods please try not to succumb to any visions of people's past this really cannot be a worse time courage born of fear let's go uh some of the rayonera ones will stay some Oh shit. Well, are you still with me in the here and now? I am. Excellent. Then we can attend to the task at hand without worry. Let us lay to rest our fellow hunters and grant and grant render ray the peace a hero deserves. God, I gotta kill all of them? I gotta kill all of them? Oh man. Oh, this music. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, can I just go in? Uh, what is the, what is the, what is the plan here? Do I go after her specifically? Ooh, my HP. Oh, are they? Oh, I have to kill them first, I think? I don't know. Oh my god, I forgot how to play. I forgot how to play this fucking game. Because he's like shielding her, because she's down. So is that, is that the vibe? Yo! Okay, she's down. Jesus Christ! He's getting low too! Wrong one. Wrong one, I think. Is it this one? Oh, I can't even fucking use it. This one? Might have been that one.
Okay, okay. This is fit. Okay, you both. I could have just used that first. I could have used the other one so I could zip back. I didn't have to run back. All right, buddy. Only two more to go? Yeah, let's go. What's happening here? I'll drop and Dre, you handle the night? Sounds good. Oh, I missed use that, that's fine. Because I think if I remember correctly the way that I should be using that is to like mitigate damage right yeah I'm down. Stack. Stack with me! I'm down though, bestie! I'm, I mean, I guess I'm okay. Now I am. Thank you for the help. Oh, oh god damn. It's a good thing we're in this fucking corner, huh? from the night? Yeah, I can see that. I, I can see that I have to stay away from him. So slow. Oh, why did I use? Oh no, it doubles. I'm coming, bestie. I'm coming. died there. I thought that was me for a fucking second. 
Oh my god. She did. Crystal! We... we won. Even seeing it and saying it, it hardly feels real. I did the thing. Huh? What's that you've got there? It's her crystal. Wicked white, you're... Here she is. Oh, I love her fit. Oh, she's so cute. You're Renda Ray. The real Renda Ray. Should have never betrayed your trust. Never again, I swore. Never again. Well, and quits the Shadow Keeper of the Flood. Come what may, we would face it together. No matter how hard it got, or how terrified I was. That's what it means to let someone into your heart, you know? You know, knowing full well that nothing lasts forever. Swapping the fear, the pain, the sorrow. When I lost my parents, when we laid the keep low. You felt to do, didn't you? To place our faith in a desperate, hopeless attempt to save everyone. And to see them out to not in the end. What else could we do but offer up that tiny remainder in a final, futile effort? Even knowing, deep down, it was worth but a few moments more. What is this? I hate from fear, and that fear gave me strength. Wait, there's so much I want to ask! I don't understand. What's she talking about? Scoop it up and I walk up a boo. It's not right. It's not fair. Heroes sacrificing themselves for nothing. Becoming villains. Being forgotten. Thank you, Pepper. I can never have gotten this far without your help. I had no idea who Renda Ray or any of the other warriors of light truly were. It was all ancient history to me. Why would I care who some sin eaters once were? I was no better than my parents, judging them out of hand, dismissing their sacrifice, not bothering to look deeper. It made it all the easier to pursue Andrea for my own amusement. I pray I've made up for it in part by helping to lay Renda Ray's soul to rest. Miss Lavara is probably worried sick about us both. I... We should return to Calusia and let her know we're alright. Damn. This one was good, actually. I... I liked it. I don't know exactly how I feel about... Um... About Reek? Per se? But... You know, I think this story definitely, like, hit home a bit harder. She's very sweet, and and the whole, you know, stuck in a loop and trying to, like, summon or try to, try to make friends, you know? Spawn her own friends? I don't know, that hit. That was sad. You know? Because she can't do it alone, and she needs them. The earlier duty where you get the stack, but there's nobody to stack with you, hit me in the feels like few things in this game have. Yes! Oh my god, do you mean like when she gets knocked down, and like, the she has one HP, and then all the friends start running in? Yeah, no, that got me too. I think I probably would have cried if I wasn't so like... Because I was tired around that point, too. I've been tired all day, honestly. So I feel like I probably would have cried. But I didn't. Is that Kelsey? Keaton, are you up here? It's a Keaton. That's, a, that's such a clever bit of gameplay and storytelling. I agree. Hi! What's up? 
<gasps> I get head pads. I give hug. I give you hug. Yee. Oh, thank you for the huggy buggies. <laughs> My little reek. Pepper, congratulations on a job well done. And from one hundred to another, thank you for helping Render Ray to achieve a measure of peace. She was a hero to me too, and it broke my heart to know what had become of her. To have our legacy tarnished, tarnished so, to have the world call you villain, even still. But at least I can take comfort in knowing she can finally enjoy a long rest. Whatever others may say, we will preserve the truth in story and song. Render Ray, the bravest hunter there ever was, and more importantly, a true friend to those she held dear. I can only hope to measure up to her example someday. For now, however, I say return to the Crystarium and raise a glass in celebration. Yo, deadass. You know what I really like about these uh, role quests? Is they're showing that the Warriors of Light are normal but good hearted people. Yes, they have their own flaws, but they mean they never meant any harm towards anybody in the first. You know, and it's it's nice to see that considering their reputation, right? And it makes them all feel more real as like characters. I'm really glad that the um that the other words of light, like not just Ardbert, even though he obviously plays like a stronger part in the narrative, I'm glad that the game like forces us or just like allows us to go through the the other word of light stories, you know? It, it forces us to get to know them. So they're not just these NPCs that like hung around Ardbert. They are they were real people. Um with their own with their own sad story about how they and like seeing how they all came to be and stuff you know and jerry's bounty has been paid to us in full my friend so come let's eat and drink and be merry here we go more glugging oh no i've been mean to ask pepper but i have the impression you are rather more acquainted with these warrior of lights than you've been letting on what exactly do you know about them well, let me tell you. And now Pepper gets to talk about them. I like that. I like that. I like this. This is so good. This is really cute. I also do love any moments in the game that allow you to reflect on things that occurred. I love it when the game does callbacks and I love it when, when it has moments where the warrior of light, like where you are forced or being told by someone to remember something. Not just me sitting there being like, oh my god, remember when? It's like the yeah. I mean, maybe it's kind of like ham-fisted a little bit, but I I enjoy it. You know, everything like serves a purpose in some way. You know, I like it. That that is so preposterous a tale that I have no choice but to assume it is true. <laughs> Offering up their lives to first cross the rift, then to halt the flood. We can wait. It must have taken her so much courage to see it through in those final moments. Courage born not of a desire for glory or dedication to an ideal, but a fear and love for those with whom she had forged unshakable bonds. Her comrades. I won't pretend that we have anything even approaching such a powerful connection, but I would like to think that if you were in mortal peril that I would fly to your side without hesitation. Having said that, if I were tested as Renda Ray were, if I were challenged to offer up my life for others, without even knowing if it would amount to aught, I doubt I could rise to the occasion. I am a child and a fool who knows little of the world. I told you, he's young. I have been coddled and spoiled and have only just tasted the bitter fruits of life that you and countless others sup on daily. You are made of sterner stuff, Pepper. Far sterner than me. That is why I know I can never walk your path. 
Do you wish you could? If you have this, if you had the strength to take another step, would you? How could I not? I cannot recall a time I have felt happier and more alive than when I have traveled with you. Aww. But you have countless other journeys ahead of you, don't you? I do! I do indeed tomorrow! For you are destined for greater challenges. Whereas I am suited to rather more pedestrian affairs. Know your limits, as Miss Lavara used to say. Meeting her again all these years, after all these years, seeing how much older and more frail she'd become made me realize how little time together we have left. She shouldn't have to live out her days living alone in the squalor. I have decided it will not be so. I shall return to Calusi and attend to her needs, for I would for I would do my utmost to repay the love and kindness that made me the man I am today. Therefore, though it pains me to say, I fear this celebration must also mark the end, or at the very least a tentative suspension, of the glorious partnership that was Reek and Pepper, bounty hunters extraordinaire. Did you ever find yourself in Calusia, however? Do come and pay us a visit. Aww. No. Aww, I love that. I love that so much. I'm a sucker for grandmas and I'm a sucker for moms. All right, that got me. But on that note, we did it! We may not have finished all of the side content that I wanted to do, but we've done the last side quest before N Walker tomorrow. Oh my god, chat. I can finally breathe. I can sleep. Oh my god. I accidentally just pulled hair out of my head. We did it! The end is walking! Oh. Oh. Other than the magical range, yeah, we still have other side content that I need to do, but it's totally fine because you know what? I made progress. Roll quests are optional for Shadowbringers? Yeah. No rush. Like I said, we're not going to be bulldozing through the Endwalker story. I'm going to take my time and I'm going to savor it. Which means that we will be like taking like little breaks so I can do side content like during the narrative. So we'll be fine. You say that, but no, nah, look, no, 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 no. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to take my time with it, cause like I don't, I, like I said, I don't want to burn out on this game. And honestly, honestly, with as much like. There is so much in this game that I love doing, like, I'm- you can ask Red, like, I'm so addicted to doing, like, the most mundane shit, um, and so, I have no doubt- I have no doubt that I'll be fine. Spending, like, this month off from Shadowbringers to just, like, do side content, do dailies, and just run in circles has been, like, really good because it's made me so excited to play this game because I'm finding like so many other things in the game that are not narrative driven that I actually really enjoy doing you know which I didn't really have before because before the only reason why I was playing this game was for the story but now that's not the case and now that now that Red and I have hot chocolate and marshmallow if he is comfortable, I can even do some streams where I'm, like, replaying the game. Because we're going to be doing, like, Heaven's Word and stuff. So, like, y'all can watch... Y'all can watch me go through Heaven's Word again or something. Check mod room. If mod room and stream ends, sounds good. But stream is ending right fucking now. I'm done. I'm going to bed. It's almost 4 a.m. I need to sleep. I need to get ready for bed. So on that note, chat, good night. Thank you for hanging out with me and for keeping me company and enduring all of these, all of these fucking trials and tribulations. No one I follow is live. Not a single person I follow is live or maybe Twitch is just bugging. 
Everybody is offline. I have no one to raid. That's how fucking late it is, chat. That is how late it is. <laughs> no, okay. I see people live. I see people live. I'm, uh, no. Okay. We're, uh, I'm going to, I, okay. Um... I'm too tired to even pick somebody to raid. We're just gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna toss y'all into a random chat, okay? Oh. Here, we're gonna raid this person. Okay, y'all. I will see you all tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern for some Final Fantasy... Oh, never mind. We're not raiding this person. They have... Oh, no, 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 no. Never mind. We cannot raid this person. No, no transphobia on my stream. Let it be known that I will not be raiding someone that's transphobic. Oh, we're going to raid this person. They're going through Shadowbringers. Perfect. They better not fucking end stream. We're going into their stream. All right. Uh, Edgar Allen, bro. I don't know who this is. They have a dog cam. We're gonna raid them. I will see you all tomorrow at 7 p.m. for N Walker. Don't forget to join the Discord server and follow me on social media. That because I have to do all my shenanigans. Take care, friends. I will see you all later. Let's go give Edgar Allen Bro some Shadowbringers hype. He's at a really good part in the story. Okay, that's all. Bye, friends.